Mom! <laughs> Ribbit.
Hello. <laughs> There's a bunch of crap in front of us. Hang on. <laughs> these are my New Year's resolutions. Whoa. These look have at these. nothing to do <laughs> with Secret of Mana. But they're all backwards. I don't understand. Yeah, are they? What? Yeah. Look at them. I. What? <laughs> they look normal to me. Is your video flipped? No, it's because we're on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually legitimately really funny. You just went way over my head, which isn't that <laughs> difficult to do. <laughs> yeah, I see reality in third person. <laughs> that's the issue. Hey, Biting Irish. Hi, everybody. Uh, if you weren't here before, uh, when did we do the first one of these? Was it two weeks ago? Was yes. it three? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know which one. Uh, um, it was the day before you went on a on my break. trip. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's two weeks ago. Hey there, Neko. How are you? Uh, but uh, we played Secret of Mana. Do you remember what the last boss we did was? Or we did we thought... quit after a boss or what? What happened? It was like some kind of crazy lion. A lion. Uh, it might have been a different animal. Well, there was a tiger, but we definitely mm -hmm. progressed in the game a lot after the tiger. Hmm. Was there a second tiger maybe? I don't remember. Hey there, Streetwise. <laughs> Does anybody remember how far we got? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna take my cloak off. It's, it's warm in here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is uh, like one of my favorite video games. It's definitely one I wouldn't recommend to just anybody because it's... Uh... Because it's extra special and you only keep it for just your friends. <laughs> yes. That and... Uh... You know... Can you see the redeems, Lily? <gasps> yeah. I added pop and ribbit just for you. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you. Can I do your redeems too? Like when you ever, when you ever get a hydrate, I will drink too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it is actually from Xanak and Drill, but a very similar jingle is in Ribbit. Ribbit is in uh, the Guardian Legend. That's correct. Ribbit, 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 Ribbit. Uh, if I recall, uh, that has a two uses per user per stream limit. But be careful with your pops and rivets. Only use them when it's going to count. <laughs> hey, Socrates, how are you? Uh, so anyway, this game is kind of glitchy and like kind of janky. Um, that's I not, like that about it. Yeah, I, I like it too. But I think some people definitely go in there expecting the same kind of experience as, let's say, the Game Boy game. And it, it's not that. <laughs> so you haven't played that Game Boy game, right? You just watched Mocha play it. Yeah, I watched it. It's uh, it's a great game. Um, that was awesome. That was so cool. Hey, thanks, Anonymous Gifter. Enjoy your emotes, Cerebro. Um, but luckily, you're playing it with someone who knows the game well enough. <laughs> so you're bypassing some of the more painful stuff by just knowing how to cheese it, frankly. Would you say that you're an expert on Secret of Mana? I definitely would not. <laughs> I learned the hard way that I'm not because I played this as part of my subathon last year. <laughs> I went in like, oh yeah, I'm just going to whoop this game's ass real quick. It's fine. And we got all the way to the end and then it got really tough. And then Professor Hammer Rat in chat was like, yeah, uh, you need to like level up your spells a little bit. And then he just completely <laughs> fixed everything. Oh, okay. You need to level up in this RPG. That's novel. You were overconfident. Yeah, that's not too uncommon for me, frankly. No. Uh, I'm opening the game right now, by the way, although there's really no pressure to start right away. Okay, uh, my game is open too. Can I talk to your chat? Yeah. Okay. You want to do that I while I eat a little bit? <laughs> what are you going to eat? Spaghetti. What flavor? <laughs> <laughs> and meatballs. <laughs> What Hello, flavor? Welcome. Yeah, it's it's cherry spaghetti. That sounds kind of good, actually. Yeah, actually, I want to try to make that mm. now. But, uh, Hello, chat. 
Oh, you know one thing though, your voice is probably really fighting with this background music because it's only set up to duck the audio when I speak. Let me just turn the volume down a lot so okay. that you can talk to chat. <laughs> Watermelon spaghetti, mmm. And you could serve it chilled. Delicious. It's a summer spaghetti. I can. <laughs> I have secret telepathic messages. Very cool. Okay, hello chat. Hi. I have an important question for you all today. How are you? And have you ever had squid, squid ink spaghetti before? Anyone? Just the idea of a squid making spaghetti sounds so interesting. <laughs> Hi, so great. I'll veal. I'll I I can't read your chatter's names. Sepisai. Rachel Retro. Linky Coast. Welcome. Welcome. I have I have a secret, Lily. Okay, I just say it. Alvi because I don't know how to pronounce E A O either. <laughs> oh, okay. That's you can use my my strat. Just say Alvi. I think it's like an alveoli joke, like like a like maybe maybe they're a lung professor. Maybe they study lungs. Alvi is fine. Thank you very much for the raid. Riona, thank you. I'm I'm so sorry. You you raided as soon as I muted my mic to eat spaghetti. <laughs> She's eating spaghetti. That's why I have a picture of a taco in front of my face, of course. <laughs> I thought that was obvious. Hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Good username. And uh, when you eat tacos, do you have a picture of spaghetti? No, I I just have a picture of a taco. Do you know the story behind the taco picture? Riona, what was going on? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on on your stream? How are you? We're just, uh, Lily is entertaining my chat while I eat a little bit because I've been streaming since, uh, 2 p.m. That's true. Which one is also, Infection? Oh, that's the first one in the quadrilogy. Oh, I see. That's a yeah. PS2 series, right? Yes. Or does it, I like, span Dark. multiple systems or anything? No. It's PS2 and also the trilogy, the GU trilogy that comes after it is also PS2. Mm. Oh, so there's like but, seven games on that one system, huh? Well, more than seven. Oh, sure. <laughs> because there's also um, fragments and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riona, are you a Secret of Mana fan by any chance? We're, uh, we're one stream into this, so we've done... I feel like the last fight we did was like one of the Gigas enemies or something or Gigas or something. Yeah, I love this game. I always recommend it with an asterisk that like <laughs> it's so messed up. <laughs> but this yeah, I think it was Fire Gigas was the last boss we did, but I'm not 100% certain mouse. Uh, I have no memory of this. Yeah, <laughs> it was like two whole weeks ago, please. Yeah. We can't expect us to <laughs> keep track we, of all that. We have different newer memories. Yeah. <laughs> uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm I'm also setting up the, yeah, there we go, the emulator capture. Hey, Kyrick, yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. How do I feel about Seiken 3? I have a really embarrassing, very dot story about Seiken 3. So, you know who I picked as my main character. I don't have to tell you that. And she has, like, a speech impediment. It's not a lisp, it's roticism, but uh, that, like, is written in the translation is just, like, all of her R's and L's or W's instead. And I know for a fact that a few of my viewers also have this speech impediment. So, Ribbit. Now you say Ribbit. Ribbit, Ribbit. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, chat was making fun of this character for her roticism. And I was like, oh, no. I would feel so bad if I was that viewer and I saw everybody, like, making fun of this. And I got real neurotic about it. And I... 
and I quit Seiken Densetsu 3 after one stream because of it. I'm going to go back uh, <laughs> and I'm going to play it from the beginning and just tank the hit when people make fun of my favorite <laughs> character's speech impediment. <laughs> You because... could use it as, like, an opportunity to be like, Hey, if you're making fun of this, I don't like it when you make fun of it, because some people talk differently from others. Yeah, I can make it a teachable moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sure. Because without Seiken and Densetsu 3, um, they wouldn't know that it's wrong to bully at people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the crossroads, right? <laughs> on the left side, play Seiken and Densetsu 3 and become a good person, and on the right side... <laughs> <laughs> bully people forever. <laughs> uh okay, I'm I'm first of all, thank you for the raids. Uh I'm gonna go back into the spaghetti dimension for just a little bit. Okay. So you, I'm going you can you can enter you can entertain. <laughs> well, entertain is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> but I will try my best. Hello everybody. Are you ready for some Secret of Mana gameplay? Thank you very much for the 33 monk. Monk. Hello, welcome. Uh. Imbalance party. I don't know, 33 monks in Final Fantasy 1 would be pretty strong. I think you'd be pretty much set. That's a that's a good strat. Um I have not seen Secret of Mana other than what we've played, but I've been watching Secret of Evermore. And that game looks pretty different. <laughs> I, I don't know if it looks better, um, but it looks very different. You get a dog in, in Secret of Evermore. Yeah, it's very American. I don't like the character sprites in it, but the environments are pretty cool looking. Yeah. You... what does that mean? Million monks in Final Fantasy Tactics. I need to play Final Fantasy Tactics 1. I've only played the Advanced series. They straight up do a Silence of the Lambs reference. In Secret of Evermore. I like that you get a dog. I kept expecting you to get other party members because in Secret of Mana you get three. But in Secret of Evermore you just get a dude and his dog. Immediately. And I think the dog shapeshifts. But I fell asleep. I had, I had a dream last night where I was a tree. And whenever I grew, I could feel... I could feel... my roots pushing through the soil. It was an experience. And I... in the winter time, I went to sleep. You just reminded me of a much more mundane, but I think kind of embarrassing dream that I had last night. Okay. I was at a uh, fighting game tournament, except I was like 13 years old for some reason, and also so were all of the entrants. I don't know why, but like no one in the stream was an adult <laughs> for some reason. And, it's a requirement. Uh, and uh, what, what what did you say? I said it's a requirement. Yeah. <laughs> you have to become 13 years old to enter. Yeah, like Ninjala or whatever. So. <laughs> I was, uh, I showed up with, like, a bunch of, like, recording equipment, uh, in a backpack. And I said at the beginning of the tournament, like, hey, you know, just so you know, I'm here to record a documentary about this tournament. If you don't want to be part of that, you know, that's cool. Just let me know. And everyone was real friendly with me at first. Uh, and then, huh. And then, uh, after the tournament... People started, like, making fun of me behind my back, but, like, loud enough that I could hear. And they were calling me Elon Musk. For some reason, walking around with a backpack <laughs> meant that I was Elon <laughs> Musk. And I, like, tried to explain it to them. I was like, guys, I told you at the start of this tournament that I would be making 
recording a documentary. <laughs> you were told that you could opt out of it. You can still tell me and I'll cut you out of the, t the documentary. It's fine. <laughs> and they just kept going. They just kept oh, going, oh, Elon she admitted Musk. it. And it's like, come on, guys. And so that was it. You, and I Elon woke up Musk. feeling really sad because I'd been bullied in my <gasps> sleep. No. <laughs> I can't I, believe they called you Elon Musk for wearing a backpack and <laughs> recording a documentary. It was specifically... <laughs> It was specifically wearing a backpack for some, for some reason. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Why did anyway. they treat you like that? That's unfair. I don't know. But anyway, hmm. I, I woke up and it turned out it didn't really happen. So. <laughs> ribbit, what if ribbit. you woke up and it turned out it did really happen and it was just a memory from long ago? Could be, or yeah, the, from when I was Elon Musk. When you were 13 and Elon Musk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we could find a, an image of Elon Musk wearing a backpack. I think he's too, like, image conscious. But backpacks are stylish. Are they? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, That's they are. That's why I had that dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're stylish and also practical. Mm, yeah, I, do, I did know about the practical thing. I think I've had backpacks on my mind because I... Oh, that's actually the weird part. When I got when I got home from my flight, I just like threw all my crap on my bed. Mm -hmm. My bag that I used for my carry on was a backpack. Like I, I didn't have enough bags when I was at the airport, so I just had to, you know, tank the hit and pay like fifty dollars <laughs> for a backpack because that's what they cost at the airport, right? And I like. I like, sorry to interrupt, I like how you keep saying, like, whenever you're in a social yeah. situation and you've been slighted, you're like, okay, I'll just tank this hit. Yes. <laughs> it's like a, like a, somebody who's played RPGs their whole life, yes. and this is how they relate to society. Sorry, go that's, on. That's like the boss baby vibes of, like, social, <laughs> in social interactions. Uh, so, anyway, I just now realized that after I woke up, I like, I was like kind of like tossing and turning in bed because I was so, so upset. I kicked oh, my backpack no. off of my bed when that happened. After I'd had a, a dream where I'd been bullied for wearing a backpack. <laughs> wait, so. so wait, are you saying that you kicked your backpack off your bed last night? Yes. But you put your backpack on your bed two weeks ago. No, I put my backpack on my bed six days ago. Six days ago? that's when I got ago. back. Okay, okay, fair. But yes, I I have been <laughs> sleeping with all of the, like, crap from the flight on my bed for almost you a week. You should take it off your bed so you can be more comfortable when you rest. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should do that. <laughs> it didn't occur to me until you called me on it. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to bully you. I'm trying to make sure you get a proper night's sleep. Yeah, thank you, because I've already been bullied about my backpack enough. <laughs> I'm not calling you Elon Musk, okay? Okay, good. Okay. Uh, do you remember how to do the net play thing? I think you just type T and then slash server, right? Yes. I Did done you do it. it? Yeah. Okay. We are connected. Yeah. Now I'm I'm on your title screen somewhere. It kept your save data, right? Did you check? It did. I checked. Okay, good. Oh no, your mini dot. Oh no. The oh, mini no. dot just oh. had a delayed effect. There it goes. Oh, now no. where am I? Now I'm this big. <laughs> yeah, mini dot's actually kind of complicated. Uh in fact, it like sort of broke the model. Uh so I originally the way mini dot worked was it just zoomed out, which makes the model appear smaller. <laughs> but um, I was looking at this and she's like, you know, I could pretty easily, are we level? No, 13, okay, that makes more sense. She was like, honestly, I could pretty easily make this work like a toggle. Like, so if if you look, like the proportions change, right? It becomes, a, here, let me, let me get a boost up here so you can see. Okay. You see the proportions aren't the same. It's a little Here, more I'll like... Here, I'll lift you. I'll lift okay, you. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. It's a little more like childlike, <laughs> you know? That's new. Oh, yeah. It, the oh, old toggle just like... Or the old way it worked was the model just zoomed out. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Tilt your head to the side again like you're looking at me. <laughs> that's good. 
anyway, so she she uh, changed it and like it ended up like breaking in extremely weird and funny looking ways at one point. So like when mini dot happened, like one of the bows on the boots would like <laughs> become like triple size and also be displaced like a hundred feet from the model. <laughs> and so and so she had to like basically re-rig the entire model to fix it at that point. So oops. Sorry, am I? <laughs> but it sounds like it got fixed eventually. Yeah, it did. It did. Uh, so we we need for Mini Dot to wear off so we can tell where to position the models. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Chicken Dot. Yeah, I like the the Chicken Dot. Uh, where the egg. <laughs> <laughs> reforms <laughs> it's so funny it is so funny uh yeah you can except you only get two per stream lesbian donkey kong so you can actually only use up about 2000 channel points like 2002 how many channel points do you think i have i have no earthly idea i'm gonna guess 60,000 <laughs> close what is it 70,000. Ooh. You, there's there's no way you'll believe this, but I was going to say 70, and I was like, nah, she hasn't been watching that long. <laughs> <laughs> Probably more like 60. I have been watching that long. Okay, there we go. Rivet, 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 rivet. <laughs> you can... Here, you... Yeah, you can stand back up now. I, I won't be... <laughs> Uh, should we get into gameplay position here and I can turn off yes. this music? Yes. Okay. Okay. I turned off the music. Okay. I almost succeeded in a Sonic the Hedgehog Hogless run last I night. I heard about that. I was there for a lot of the, uh, not real practice attempts, but I, <laughs> I did like have to go to bed at one point. Uh, hang on. I think I can. It was oh, like come one... on. Don't act like you don't know about Hogless runs. Everyone knows about Hogless runs. <laughs> these days it's the twitch I meta i was seeing how 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 far into the boards i could get <laughs> into the boards yeah hog. yeah i love boards so much me too i think uh, i first heard about boards from the angry video game nerd mm. have you have you ever heard someone describe every they they call controllers paddles have you seen this no it happens people do that why do they call them paddles? Uh, I that's just what the Atari controllers were. What if it's because What if it's because of Pong? I think it is because of Pong, actually. Oh I'm hell that. yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, can you do me a favor and position yourself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're way too far off to the left. Hang on, uh, or to the right, to the right. <laughs> more, yeah, more like here ish. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, move like a pace to the right, like about that much. Looking pretty good. It's surprising because you can't see the scene we're looking at. <laughs> All right. To gameplay. Have uh, you ever heard of keep talking or no one explodes? Yes. I like that game. I would win that game easily because it is extremely difficult to get me to stop talking <laughs> so. okay elon musk <laughs> no okay. you can't call me that <laughs> okay uh wait we're different i think we're switched yeah no uh just hit select yeah now you're controlling it see that okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait, can you, can we're in you play Pandora, too? I guess. Did we just do the living wall boss, perhaps? <laughs> Is that the last thing we did? I do remember the wall. Uh, do you want to re-familiarize yourself with the game while I go wash my hands? Because I forgot did to you get that? spaghetti all over yourself? Well, no, that's the thing. I didn't, so I was like, I don't need to wash my hands. And I was like, that's disgusting. I was just eating. Do you mind okay. if I don't do that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Welcome back. This is my chat now. Ha 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 ha. If it's not an analog rotary input, it's not a paddle. I would like to get an original Atari. That would be kind of cool. What if you had a Pog tournament? Unofficial Pong hardware. Did I say Pog? <laughs> Alright, alright. Thank you very much for the 11 months, luppy luppy. <laughs> Look at this guy dance. Okay, so this is the menu. Okay. What's out here? If one were to win a Pong tournament, will it make them a Pong champ? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Pandora. We've been to Pandora a bunch before, I think. <gasps> Thank you for the 46 months. I really appreciate it. Look at the sparkles in the water. They really captured the sparkliness of water. I love the tiles in this. Oh my this god, a there's a water bottle in front of my face. In front of oh, I have to drink too. I gotta go get a water bottle. Hang on. Okay. Lily, should I buy chocolate covered nuts tomorrow? What kind of nuts? Pistachios? Cashews? Cashews technically are not a nut. Hey, Thank thanks for the raid, much. Free Spruce. How are you? Thank you for hey the there, raid, Free Spruce, too. Yeah, that is true. Well, sometimes you get held hostage sometimes, Fruitcake Gatorade. <laughs> Just learn to learn to deal with it. It's fine. Yeah. Look at this guy. The umpire attacked us about 15 seconds ago. Okay, let me make sure. Yeah, you know what? My control's actually not working. It doesn't matter because I think I can set this like while we're playing. Okay. Um, hopefully I don't. All right, it's Disconnect like Disconnect or something. Shift Alt One or something. Yeah. I played a bunch of Grand Blue Big Battle Versus today. Yeah. <laughs> How'd it go? Pretty well, actually. I learned a lot about the game that I didn't know yesterday. I was kind of, like, not sure if I would like the game, but I ended up liking it quite a bit. Hey, thank you, Sepasai. Oh, we have to stretch. Mm. Yeah, I, I left the lights up on purpose because this is a Christmas game to me, Gotetsu. To me, too. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm in now. Okay. Look at this menacing statue. Yeah. This is out out, out in front of that ruins uh, dungeon that I'm pretty sure we already did. Yeah, because oh, there yeah, would be different yeah. music here. Uh, Look at the ground. I kind of wonder the if there's like a weapon orb in here. Oh yeah, to upgrade. We definitely just ran straight to the boss. I think it was like getting pretty late when we got this far. Yeah, but we were having fun. Yeah. I think you like kind of wanted to go to bed because you had to like freaking go on vacation after. Yeah, well you got really tired too. I don't know if you no, remember saying, yeah, I can do another two dungeons and like... <laughs> You were, like, essentially not awake <laughs> for the end of this one. <laughs> no, no. You got tired. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Let's just leave. So the thing about miss or about losing, missing, m missing was, was correct. Uh, the uh, upgrade orbs is uh, the game will actually yeah. catch you back up. So when you get, like, a whip orb uh, chest, it will... Spawn whip orbs until you have a certain number of them. Does that make sense? Oh, it so does. If, so if you miss one, it'll give you the amounts yes. that you would have had. Uh, so I don't really remember where we were supposed to go. <laughs> and then presumably there is a level cap on how high it can get. So yes. you can't like just get the last one and then get all of them again. Yeah, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. I love this game. This we is need fun. to go to cannon travel, maybe. Cannon travel? Yeah. Okay. Look at 
at this guy. Have you ever seen South American stingless bees? No. They're crazy. Isn't that just an ant? <laughs> no, they're bees. They build beehives. Oh, wasps are what I'm thinking of that are like ants. Well, they're all related. So ants, wasps, and bees are all related. Mm. And bees are actually a, a small group within the larger group of wasps. Uh-huh. Yes. Anyway, stingless bees from South America make really strange, irregular shaped hives. Mm -hmm. They're not like hexagonal, they're super weird looking. Uh-huh. And it looks like it's from an alien movie. The end. The end. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Yep. We have to go to cannon travel. Yeah. Yeah, you want to just skip the enemies. These guys aren't worth anything. Although, I did find out, because uh, my one of my favorite streamers uh, used to have the world record at, I think, the most popular category in this game. Uh, his name is Yagamoth. Do you know the Magic the Gathering cards, like Yagmoths, whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yagmoth. He's named after Yagmoth. But it's Yagamoth. Okay. Y-A-G-A. <laughs> That's hey, cool. Hey, Tiggy, how are you? Uh, and... Or the sprite was really angry at that flower. <laughs> I think the cannon travels up here. Okay. Um. Anyway, he every year around New Year's he does like a secret of mana marathon. Um. And he was doing that. Uh, and that screen we were just in—that's where he levels up his stuff. Oh. Uh, okay. We just came from Pandora. We don't yeah, care about Pandora. Yeah, I feel like I forgot a detail here. But maybe so do you have the to, girl do at you the have water to... palace will tell us where we are supposed to go. Okay, okay. Do you have to, like, activate the place? We'll, like, talk to a cannon traveler there to get no. them to... Okay, okay. When you hit certain, like, story progression uh, triggers... Mm -hmm. Um the canon travel destinations change. If I made a SNES game, it would have mode eight. <laughs> I think mode eight actually <laughs> exists. <laughs> there are like a bunch of different uh, graphical modes and mode seven is just the most famous one because it's the one that lets you do that. Um, like sprite rotation or background layer rotation or whatever it is. Okay, fair enough. You win this time. <laughs> <laughs> Luca, that's so, your name. The mana oh, seed. the mana seed of water was stolen. I love how at the end of the first second Densetsu, you see the seed. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, we need to go to Gaia's navel. So we were actually like basically where we needed to be. Gaia's navel? Why don't they just call it the Earth's belly button? I don't know. Hey, Meander, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for the seven stream watch streak. It's actually a ton of streams. <laughs> it's a ton. Do you know how many hours that is? I don't. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, actually given that a couple of those were like 12 hour streams. <laughs> that is so many. I gotta stop doing so many long streams. What are you gonna do instead? Short streams? Yes. <laughs> like you, because you're so short? <laughs> <laughs> so you okay, don't like doing long streams? Okay, mode 7 is mode 8. It, or there is no mode 8. Because there's an 8. Because 0 is the first index. Yeah. Yeah, it, it makes okay. sense. Mm. Uh, Computer programmers can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to start starting earlier. You're, I don't know if you remember, there was like a week, maybe two weeks where I was like starting my streams three hours earlier than I usually do. Yeah. And it was totally fine. Yeah, I remember. Well, fine. Like what was the alternative? Of course it would be fine. You do great streams. Everybody here knows it. That's why they're <laughs> watching you. you. 
I'm not complimenting you. It's like a fact. Well, you are complimenting me. You're not like flattering me. Okay, fair. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. The weapon upgrade, man. Uh, Is that it? No, the bow. That bow that we're using all the time and definitely need to spend money upgrading. Do you play this game every year at Christmas? Uh, no. But I have the last three years now. Uh, Cubalt and I started this game around Christmas time two years ago. Three years ago. Two. I can't count. I'm like a programmer. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know uh, what I love? Sorry. What? I keep interrupting. I love it when, um, programmer, like, when solo game devs are, like, primarily programmers and they draw the art and they're, like, cute little doodly yeah. dudes. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, programmer art. I love it. Uh, oh. Wait, oh, no. Sorry. That was Who's a... he? He's got a scorpion on his back. That was a, that was a weapon orb. Oh, did we miss it forever? No. Well, there's a... <laughs> Uh-oh. Because <laughs> I reset the game. Okay. We can just cannon travel to uh, Gaia's navel. I don't think we need to go speak to Luca. You have to be the one to navigate the uh, menu, though. Okay. That's true, Greedra. <laughs> but I've known her for longer. <laughs> uh, you might want to hit select a couple times, unless you want to be the princess. No, I don't. Uh, Over here. I, I think, actually, it might be faster to go to the right here and use the cannon I, travel. I'm pretty sure. I think sure. traditions... Sorry, I keep interrupting you. Mm -mm. I love traditions like that, where it's like, oh, I'll play this What's game Mana every money, month. thank you. What did, I, what, did, what did we do to deserve that? $50, because you're a great streamer. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Although you're not complimenting me. No. <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Anywho, um, and then uh, last year, I tricked Voxander into playing it. It's actually you. Tr you tricked her. Yeah, because I was like, "Hey, we could do Secret of Mana in one sitting. You want to play that with me?" And she's like, "Ugh, yeah, sure." Because she doesn't <laughs> like this game too much. Oh, she doesn't like it. And then it ended up taking two sittings anyway because of the problem <laughs> that I mentioned. <laughs> that I needed Professor <laughs> Professor Hammerad to kind of bail me out of. Okay. And be like, hey, here's why you can't kill the enemies. I love it when people have traditions like, oh, I'm gonna play this game every Christmas, or I'm gonna watch this movie every um, what's another holiday? Um, Arbor Day. Yeah, Ar every Arbor Day. Yeah. Yeah. You watch the Lorax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the one slur? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, just I, making sure. For a while, I, I, my avatar on Voxander's Discord was the one solar. <laughs> I pretty much am just on that Discord to cause problems. Do you know how to sing the song? No. Okay. The How Bad Me Be song, right? Yeah. I no. love that song. <laughs> hey, Rose. <laughs> Little May Rose, I mean. Um, Lord of the Rings Extended Edition? I love Lord of the Rings. Is it? I'm surprised that Valentine's Day has enough hours for that. Because they're long <laughs> movies. That's it. That's, that's just the extent of my joke. No, I was just thinking about The Hobbit. Like, people say The Hobbit movies are pretty good, but I don't know. I don't I don't like them as much as the original trilogy. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense because that's one book that they somehow drew out to. They added a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And, like, I, I like some of the stuff they added, but I don't know. It's kind mm -hmm. of weird, too. Um, Mode 7, too. We should talk to these two because they might say something important. Okay. Make a hole this big, are you? Very important. <laughs> Jerma. Jerma says the thieves are down there. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. I want to set my alarm clock to that song. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what is this? 
GoPro footage. Uh, I don't think we can go <laughs> back, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say I had like a save file get stuck here. I forget what exactly happened. Like, I, I don't think the save file was screwed up because you can't save down here. But it's like oh. the boss just didn't spawn or something. And so I was just stuck down here and had to reset. Oh, you can. Well, too late. <laughs> look, look at these weird guys. What are they? They're like, um, they're the scorpion army from, uh, what, Nadia? Oh. Hubba hubba. I, those are from like Yacht, like Yatter Man or something, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, wait, so you're telling me if I use the magical rope now, it'll work? Maybe not after triggering a cutscene, huh? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, Doronjo is what they're like. It's an but anime reference. What is Doronjo from? Like, which show? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I was I was right then. <laughs> okay, now we can do the there's a boss fight down there and it's like immediate. <laughs> there's Oh, okay. It's not like there's a dungeon or anything. It's just like, "Hey, go fight this robot." I wish Final Fantasy still had dwarves that look like that. Sick. That would be sick. Oh, thank you, Mouse. I was I like the song that plays in the dwarf place. <laughs> well they have to use the mana seed to power this robot. Uh we don't have scan, do we? Not yet. Do you mind if I mm -hmm. cast magic on it and just see if anything does damage? I feel like it doesn't. By all means, cast a spell. I can cast a spell! <laughs> it's 71 is actually pretty good. Do you want me to just dump all the sprites MP into this? Please. Okay, check this out, though. You you should do it. So you know how you okay. can hit the Y button to bring up your menu? Yeah. If you hit X, you will bring up your AI partner's menu. So if you hit X after I close the menu here, you'll pull mm -hmm. up the sprites menu. To do that. Okay, X. That was Y. Yeah, there you go. So now, uh, cast, um, ice, whatever, that one, and then hit X again once Undine disappears. I had to do it because you were in it. So. <laughs> so hit it again, X, like don't attack, <laughs> just cast magic. <laughs> Is this funny to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> Can I keep out it? Oh, uh, um, no more. Okay. Ugh. Is he dead? Nah. This okay. thing has a lot of HP. It also moogles you, so be careful. Oh, I don't want to get moogled. Do you like moogles? Yeah. You moogle anti? Okay, okay. I like oh, classic moogles. moogles like you just got turned into, as yeah. well as uh, the new moogles that are just like rabbit people. Oh, um... What's up? I, I like the races from Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. I guess they're also from FF12, but uh, they brought some of them into Final Fantasy XIV, and it was so exciting. Mm -hmm. Is that what uh, Vera are from or whatever? Yeah, Vera and uh, Numo. They're so cute. They look like sad puppy dogs. <laughs> Help, I'm Moogles. Which game did Moogles first appear in? Uh... <sighs> Shit, I forget. There's a really similar thing in Final Fantasy 2, but it's not the exact same thing. I need to f play Final Fantasy 2. I'm still on FF1. 2 is... 2 is great, but... It, uh, it has a really bad reputation... I for a reason. I don't, <laughs> like, I don't mind. I don't mind. If you can appreciate Secret of Mana... Or, sorry, it's the other way around. If you can appreciate FF2, <laughs> you can definitely appreciate Secret of Mana. Like, 
I want to stand up for the games that get picked on by people. Because maybe they have some flaws, yeah, but I'm sure they have a lot of good stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're familiar with the Saga series, um, Final Fantasy II was directed by the guy that directs the Saga games. Okay. Uh, and it's got some similarities, although it's got some pretty significant differences as well. For a long time, I thought Final Fantasy Legend and Final Fantasy Adventure were the same game. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I love Final Fantasy II Ams, right? I don't know if I like it more than one, but I like one a lot. And three, and four, and seven, <laughs> and five. My favorite one is eight. Yeah, I, I haven't played eight in a long time, and I would really like to. Please look at how they spelled recovered. Recovered. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we have to go to the water palace. Does he give you the thing? No. At some point, you get a thing from this guy that's really useful, but not now, I guess. I was making strong bad jokes earlier, Andrew. I heard that, yeah. Yeah. Arrow. That was the big one. <laughs> hey, Indian, how are you? Hey there, Lunar. Great job, Dort. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Dort. I really wish I could do a Coach Z voice. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta hit start so I can drive. <laughs> okay. Or don't, but you know, if you I'm get the giggles to... bad enough, I can just take over. Okay. So I think we need to. If Am's right, if I'm understanding Am's right correctly, we need to leave Gaia's navel and then immediately go back in. Okay. Exactly what I was going to do. Would we get the javelin's orb, I think? And we'll find out, Am's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I'm not sure. I'm just hey, in Tupacabra, a good mood. yeah. I wish there was fishing in this. Hmm. You can kill fish in this game. That is That's... kind of the ultimate goal of fishing, right? That is fishing, yeah, that counts. So. Whenever a game has really appealing looking water, it just makes me want to fish. Have you ever fished in real life? I go fishing all the time. Sheriff Ram, are you here? Have I fished in real life? <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Fish. Maybe, maybe it's not possible to get yet. Then it's yeah, a uh, mallet that toggles the mini status. I'm pretty sure is the thing. Uh, it's pretty important. <laughs> okay. Because you do it's not like want to get item. Minied. Yeah, good idea, Tupacabra. Are you a fisher? I don't think I realized that. Have you ever played Legend of the River King 1 oh. or 2? But I think it's really oh, this... funny that it, the uh... acronym for that series is LORK. <laughs> play LORK. Yeah, I'm a big LORK head. <laughs> okay, those are some of my favorite games of all time. Not kidding. Mm. They're so like cool. Things, yeah. In fact, if I were to make a game, like design a game myself, there is a strong possibility that it would be similar to that. Yeah. But a little different. It'd be you'd be throwing the the lork head scene at <laughs> <that> bone. <laughs> you'd be doing what? You'd be throwing a bone to the lork head scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause can I tell you what I like about it? Yeah. Okay. Oh okay. my god, what if I'd said no? That would have been so mean. <laughs> no, move on. <laughs> well, it's your stream, so I would have to respect that. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, let's go to Pandora. Okay, let's go to Pandora. We have to go to the water tumble though. 
Uh, yeah, except I think Amsrai might be right about how you get this item. Okay. And, okay, the thing I really like about Legend of the River King that I think could be pushed a little further... Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Is, um, in the game... Okay, so they have these big maps. There's, like, a town. It's kind of like an RPG, basically. Mm -hmm. But you have, like, a town with different shops in it and, like, a place where you can rest, a place where you can buy fishing stuff, um, like a restaurant... And then you go out into the overworld. Well, there isn't really an overworld. It's just outside of the town. Mm -hmm. And you, it, there's a lot of exploration to it. Like, a lot of it isn't... The focus isn't on, like, oh, a fishing minigame. You spend a ton of time doing this minigame. It's about, like, exploring and finding good spots where fish tend to be. And, like, you have to sort of form, like, a map in your mind of, okay, this is where these species tend to congregate, or mm -hmm. you, you can only find this species here at this time of day. And I think that's so interesting. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for Gemma. Okay. Apparently. He's not in this room. <laughs> hey, Kala, how are you? Thank you very much for the 12 months. I didn't believe it when Jarma said. <laughs> oh, look at this sprite. The king has shaken Cute. off his deep depression. <laughs> I'll be damned. There's the king. Thank you. Please come back. I'm the king. Brightness is returning to normal everywhere. <laughs> Perfect English. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I knew about this. There's just Whoa. a ton of treasure chests here, I guess. Can we open it? Apparently. This is All like right, the now hype cave. One. This is like the hype cave. Yeah, this is like hype cave. <laughs> oh, Spears that's good. Orb. Could you ever teach me how to play? Um... A link to the past randomizer. Oh, yeah. Cool. Can you teach me how to do a chest turn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, at least we got a sword sword out of that. The spear is actually a really good weapon. We just haven't been using it. <laughs> yeah. But I, I like the sword. Yeah, the sword... I don't think the sword is faster, but it feels faster. Which is just as important as actually being that way, I guess. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Well, that's, I don't be? know. I wasn't expecting you to ask. <laughs> you didn't think I was paying attention, huh? No, I thought you were paying attention. I, <laughs> I just thought that what I said made sense. <laughs> That. Uh, the cannon travel is like kind of this way, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, you were going the right way. I'm just following you around. Yeah, the spear is the most damaging weapon. Uh, which matters a lot when you're just killing everything with magic anyway. <laughs> Mushrooms tangled. Are we gonna get a third magic creature? Uh, <laughs> more more than a third, but yeah. Oh wow, awesome! I'm hit stunning him. <laughs> Wait. Okay. What? Yeah, I like the whip. Uh, it's got pretty low damage, but it has like so much range. Where does this go? Were you trying to read the sign? <laughs> yeah. Water Palace. Potos Village. So now we need to go get go 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 go. We need to go to Gaius <laughs> Naval. <laughs> okay. We need to go get Gaius Naval to uh forge the what's it called? The sword. 
a sword. The sword. Sword. The sword. <laughs> you must return the sword to Gaia's naval hero. It almost sounded like you were doing an impression of Olmec from Legend of the Hidden Temple. No. No. <laughs> 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 Glad we cleared that up. I love looking at the world map. It's so big. It's so big. Oops. <laughs> what time of year do you, you do your Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, it yeah. actually varies a little bit, but usually in March. Uh, because that is when my brother's birthday is. <laughs> and uh. he got Sonic 3 for his birthday uh, one year. Uh, and it was awesome. <laughs> that sounds awesome. So any anytime like spring is starting, I'm like, you know what? I remember Sonic. <laughs> That's almost always the biggest stream of the year uh, for me, by the way. Oh, really? Is it because there's a larger proportion of Sonic heads out there? Uh, I really don't know what it is, but it, it's even bigger than like the Mario Marathon. Really? Hey, Poison Bats, thank you. Oh, I suck at Mario. That's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Mario is harder than people want to admit, I think. That's always been my position. Do you have a favorite Mario game? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> I was hoping you just wouldn't ask. Um, it's, maybe I don't. It's pretty difficult for me to pick between Mario 2 USA mm. and uh, Mario. But I think I like both of those a little bit more than 3, which I like quite a bit more than World. And then other than that, I don't. Well, other than that, I only like Mario 64, which is like one of my favorite games. Ooh, I didn't know of that. Of all time, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Do you like, do you hate Yoshi's Island? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many retro games I haven't played. Yoshi's Island, for the record, has a really good reputation. Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't read anything into the fact that I don't like it. <laughs> What do you dislike about it? It is way too long. Uh, okay. And like, after a while, it does feel like it's just repeating earlier ideas, but like slightly harder. What? So like Donkey Kong, Nomen? Oh. Look at the fish! I love these fish! <laughs> Look at their faces! Oh, are any, any of these enemies, um, like, ported over from the first game? Hey, thank you, Augursley. Uh, yeah, most of them. I think these fish are in the first game. They look so familiar. We did see it's... these fish last time, so that could be part of it. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you for the 26 months, Augursly. You're Augursly, have good. I talked you into getting Grand Blue yet? Are you going to get Grand Blue? Yeah, you should get Grand Blue, like us. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. You're very good at Third Strike. Behind you! This guy's got a fork. I don't want the sprite to die. Okay. You don't know? I understand. There's a free version. Yeah, if you want to be able to play Gran. Gran and a rotating cast of players. Is it only four? I thought it was more than that. I thought it was less than that. <laughs> <laughs> did like Charlotta. Oh, you played the previous one. Yeah, I didn't. 
what's cursed about that? I don't know who Soraya's is. Uh, he's like a an angry man with um, <laughs> karate. Oh, is he the grappler? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. It's like every week, Noman. I like Nier. Do people not like Nier? Yeah, Nier's the best character in the game. I feel so like this is uh, worse with the new school fighting game scene than it was in my day, but people always complain about top tier. <laughs> so is this a bad rotation because you're seeing a lot of Nier players in matchmaking? Uh, do you mind if I uh, cast No, but by missile? all means, yeah. Mind if I gem this? Jabberwocky! Oh, actually, can you do it? I uh, hit X? Yeah. I got uh, stunned by the boss. Oh, yeah, you have to so wait. I, I was watching Sora's match videos, and I was like, when are you supposed to do anything against this guy? Uh, now you can do it. It's as soon as the gnome, like, goes away. Okay. Okay, I see the gnome. Oh, we should have done the slide to that last one. Why? Because it has one MP that it can't really spend now. Speed down might do something to the boss. I really don't know. We will gain information. Oh, his heads fall off. I've been playing Catalina. Catalina. <laughs> Sorry, that that's... Song? Uh... What band is that? It's not Sonic Youth. That's one of those bands. Sonic Hog? Sonic Hog, yeah. <laughs> I like the victory animation. Yeah. I like the way they like slide together to collect <laughs> the orb too. <laughs> yeah. Someone just clicked on them in Photoshop. <laughs> what version of Photoshop do you think they were using? Uh, oh my god, it would have been pretty new at this point. Was Photoshop even out? Uh, in what year? Probably, yeah. Uh... Ah, Whipsword. I could use that. Use it, use it. Well, we'd have to go... <laughs> we would have to go to a, a blacksmith <laughs> first. What if you could get the blacksmith to join your party and he would make you new stuff whenever? Ah, uh, that would be awesome. Yeah. It launched in 1990, okay. So it would have been one of the very first versions of Photoshop, but... Do you remember Paint Shop Pro? Mm, it sounds familiar, but I don't have like a working memory of it. Mm. Because I don't, I'm not old. <laughs> I definitely remember it, but I don't really remember what it was like to use it or anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, well, that's the same as me then. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're old, I'm old too. <laughs> Print shop for Apple. Two. <laughs> Can you say that again? Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's kind of turn-based. That's really appealing to me. Yeah. Did you catch what our objective was, by the way? We're supposed to go to the upper land. No, Which sorry. I assume is Highlands. <laughs> but it's the upper land. The upper land. And meet with Sage Jock. J-O-C-H. Josh. 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 Sage Josh. <laughs> Congratulations, Sepisai. When will we meet Sage Drake? 
Sage trick. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that river. Do we ever go to that river? That's kind of weird when you have, uh, you have vertigo. <laughs> oh no, did that activate your vertigo? A little bit. Santa? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> There's like a whole thing. You're supposed to like go through all the like seasons in order. Oh, or is something. he? I don't remember how this works. Is this winter? Yeah. How okay. can you tell? It, I don't know if this really looks like winter to me. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. It's spring and the cat is here. Uh, it might oh, not be God. a bad idea to save at the cat. Okay. Some of these... These enemies are worth a ton of experience, but some of them do quite a bit of damage, I think. Hey, Heathcliff, how are you? Game Lisa the Painful. What'd you say? Lisa the Painful? Do you know, nah. Yeah, do you know that Riot game? Riot Gas. Alright, good night. Oh no. You can tell me about it while I'm asleep. Okay. I honestly do not know a ton about it, but I know that it it's like it's kind of made by like an earthbound fan from what I can tell because it's very it's one of those RPGs. Uh-huh, yeah. The... Um and it's on Steam. It's like a recent-ish game. Yeah. And it has like a ridiculous number of fan games. So, uh one of my friends would did like a marathon streaming event where he played he played the entire game and the DLC and then every fan game of it that he could find and it, he was streaming like every day for a month. It was so cool. <laughs> Well, I love it when people do unhinged events like that, as long as it doesn't impact their health. Yeah, yeah. Probably better to not do it all in one sitting like I did with the Dragon Quest thing. Yeah, but you have a problem with moderation. True, true. Oh my god, he lived. Why does he have a fork? I Maybe he's on his way to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he has like a plate of worms, like spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause fish eat worms. Oh, I do knew they that really? from I knew that from fishing. Yeah. How do they get in the water? They fall unless, unless off you of put a them tree. On a hook. Do fish just starve if there's no one there to fish and then kill them to eat them? There's all kinds of stuff to eat in a pond. Trust me. <laughs> Oh, you're speaking from <laughs> first-hand experience. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, they can heal. These are silk tails. Yeah, the first time I saw the name, I, I was like, Skill Tail? <laughs> skill <laughs> Why tail. is there a Skill Tail? <laughs> you played Ragnarok online, things. right? Did you play Ragnarok online? Uh, yeah, very briefly, when it was still relatively new. Me and too, it was me too. Super, super laggy. Oh, it was laggy. Yeah, I loved that like, game. I thought I that was such a. You would like click somewhere and then you would finally walk there like a What much, is that? Like, like several. What is that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just a thing. Okay. I love this owl too. It, yeah. It looks like Nemesis Owl. It looks like he wants to teach me a language. Cute. He wants to he wants to tell you how many uh collabs I have today. <laughs> oh, uh turn your controller upside down. Okay. Confusion inverts your controls. It's really oh, okay. annoying to get hit by. 
There's a liquid like that in Noita. I think I want to play that. I've been watching you play the Noita dailies <laughs> like every day. Can I, um, can I backseat you? Yes. Well, because <laughs> there's no way that I would pick it up intuitively, I think. I think you probably could. And I know you don't like being backseated on new game experiences because you don't want other people to like color your experience of it. It's a but... roguelike though. And it's one I've already True. seen, so. True. And there's a lot of nuance to it that I could excitedly gush to you about. Okay. You leave her alone. <laughs> there's a lot of owls in the forest by my house in real life. I think I've like seen an owl in person like three times ever. Oh, really? I've seen way more like vultures than I have owls. I think vultures are kind of cool, too. They're kind of gross looking up close. <laughs> I took a picture really recently of like a hundred vultures just hanging out together. Wow, a hundred? I've never seen that many together. I can send you the picture later. Yeah, I would like to see that. I kind of wonder if like, is there like a an evolutionary reason that humans would be repulsed by vultures? Because like... If you see one, there's probably dead stuff nearby, which... Yeah. Hey, look. So, like, disgust is, a, like, a, a thing to stop us from getting diseases, yeah. basically. All right. Uh, the whip. Bow. I think that was it, right? I love those crazy bird events, too, Goblin Dot Best. When you go to a- have you ever- Dot, have you ever been to one of those big events where there's like a bird guy and he's like, This is my bird, would you like to hold it? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, a a end of story, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rad, um, do you remember where the hell we're supposed to go here? It's like, we need to first... Liberate the Moogle- the Moogle village, and then... We can go to the Sprite's home. Is this like a Lost Woods type thing? Uh, it will become like a Lost Woods type thing. Okay. North from Summer, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, reptiles. Did I let you hold the turtle? <laughs> I love petting zoos. Big fan. I haven't been to a petting zoo ever in my life. Let's go. Yeah. Can you find one where they have alpacas? Yeah. I got to pet an alpaca once. It's awesome. One time my parents were like, um, they were looking for like a home to move to and like at one of the houses that there was like an open house and then the neighbors had alpacas. So like, I just went over to the alpacas and I was playing with them the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, I live, like, not too far from an alpaca farm. Uh, and so sometimes when I'm, like, bored <laughs> or feeling down, I will just, like, drive out there and look at the alpacas and go, yep, that's alpacas, and then go back home. Because you like animals. Yeah, it always brightens my day a little bit. I like animals, too. I think you're you're probably my friend who likes animals the most out of, like, all of my friends mm. besides me. I'd buy that. Yeah. Does this remind you of anything? <laughs> Sonic Hog. He looks like Sonic Hog. Yep. These guys are failing their hogless run right now. <laughs> There's an enemy in Donkey Kong Country that looks like Sonic Hog, but it's actually a cat o' nine tails. That's true. That's true. Oh, it minified you. That's actually really bad. You don't have, like, the cure for that. Uh, oh. It'll wear off. Hey, Nimbus, thank okay. you. <laughs> yeah, they mini dotted me. But I can kick. <laughs> oh, I don't do any damage. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Is this ever going to wear off? I swear it wears off at some point. 
It's happening. I it's happening. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. You just tried to mini dot. I, it's not off, is it? Yeah, I turned it off. Because when it gets turned on, my model disappears completely, and like that can't be fixed. Oh, okay. There we go. Don't worry, Mini Dot will return. Uh, here, I'm gonna hit start. You can walk okay. around the village. You talk to the big Moogles, and I'll talk to the little Moogle. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yippee, I can remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it, it unminied you. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I see treasure. Why do they shake it? Um, for fun. Okay, you know, good reason. <laughs> uh, Glove's um, orb. Glove is not very good. Oh. Uh... We might as well save. I wouldn't- I kind of don't want to spend money here, because Neko charges double. Uh... Live we have to hydrate and stretch. I I did that. What do you think of that? I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I stretched a second time and it just made me yawn. Me too. <laughs> this is a good sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> At 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to go over to the house at some time. Okay, where are we going? Yeah, I kind of like the glove. Uh... If it's your favorite weapon, I mean, even if it's a little worse or even a lot worse, you probably gain enjoyment out of using it. Yep. It's not my favorite, though. Is the whip your favorite? I don't want to answer that. Why? Because <laughs> it's the sword. <laughs> oh, okay. But this is your first time playing, so you get the sword. Do you want to switch? No. Why not? Because <laughs> you like the sword. But I am happy with anything. Sure. Did you see that? The yes. dragon. Where's it going? I don't know. Somewhere. I want to try a different weapon. Unrelated to our previous conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you can try other weapons. Okay. You can always try the Talk spear. On. It does a ton of damage. See? Oh, wow. Moogle Claws. You know what? Moogle Claws visits all the little baby Moogles on Christmas Eve. And he goes down the Moogle <laughs> chimney and he gives them presents. Did you know that? No. Did you know? <laughs> no. Did you know? Why don't we not fight? We have to go north from summer, right? We have to. We already did that part. We have to go. We have to like Stop. cycle through the seasons now. Don't live long. What? Come. Look. If it's the crabs, those are the reason crabs. that I don't think we should fight anything. Oh, no. Yeah, they're really dangerous. <laughs> so. Here, this way. It's like, yeah, there we go. That was from the right. Whoa. What does spaced out mean? Is that stun? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, up, 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 up. The crabs <laughs> get really dangerous crabs. after they uh, do that. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> A shambles. A shambles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a boss fight, maybe? Yeah. Dragons! Is it gonna be a dragon no. army? <laughs> Chicken! <laughs> yeah. This is such a funny looking enemy. Yeah, let's, uh. You know what? I hate to do this, but this thing is really annoying without MP, so we could. Fairy walnut now. Okay. Chocolate. 
but... I love how it's frowning slightly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't hit it, because you don't want to cancel out any of the damage the sprite's going to do. Okay, got it. What? Hello? Okay, it didn't consume his MP, so that's good. Maybe it cancels when it's off screen from the jump. Alright, 32 is not that good. Uh, what about the missile? Alright, that's the play. <laughs> it's probably gonna die. Yeah. Look at how. Oh no, it's upset. Yeah, it it's looks exploding. so sad. Everyone's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tweet out the stream. Oh, I didn't. So now you can tweet. I will tweet it too. I'm going to retweet. What about that? That would be cool. I am here, and it is so much fun. <laughs> Come watch, please. Let's add some emojis. Okay. <laughs> Are you just picking at random? No. No. Should I? No. <laughs> oh, I'd say pick emoji that represent me, but I feel like I'd just be setting myself up to get owned. <laughs> Just the the like nerdy face one. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the nerd emoji a lot. I do too, and people use it as like a bad thing, but I think it's so cute. Yeah, it's like when you it's like when a kid shows up at your uh fighting game tournament and you call them Elon Musk. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh Poor Elon Musk. <laughs> That is such a good emote. Lemchin, the nerd one. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that good? <laughs> that is good. Okay, here I am. Okay. Okay. Yeah, people people use the nerd emoji like, oh, you said something dorky. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. But I think it's really i think if you used it sincerely it would be like i just helped you on your math project oh, i think you wanted to go north okay or i just completed a spreadsheet that will make our lives better yeah rivet 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 here i am do that little guy oh that's the sage yeah nope drake <laughs> Grandpa. Is that you, little tyke? <laughs> <laughs> the wind seal. This is just like Final Fantasy 1. Yeah. Also Final Fantasy 5. I want to play that. It's really good. Oh, the song that just kicked in. Yeah. No. Why would they do that? Humans hey, Hess are Valentine. Going... Thanks for the raid. How are you? What were you up to? Humans are selfishly consuming mana, and yeah. it threatens the <gasps> life force of the world. Hey, thanks for the follow in phase. Hey, thank you, Navjack. What was going thank on you on your stream, Hesh? We're, uh, I like to play this game around Christmas time every year, and Lily's never played it before, so this is her first time trying it out. Hi. <laughs> I'm studying to be a retro cool. gamer.
Welcome. Look, see, we're getting a third guy. Oh, wow. Sylphid. Yeah. Analyzer. Analyzing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what is interesting to you about Noida? Oh, um, it's a game. <laughs> I don't know. Is there, like, anything that you... When you were watching it, was there anything that made you go like, hmm, this uh, is it's interesting. The, uh, it's the deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you get like you a like wand and you have to like fill the slots with uh, spells. spells. And... Yeah. yeah. So you like the wand building? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what a non good answer. Hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to talk to the uh, mana seed okay. chat. Say hi to the seed chat. Hi. So we can level up uh, our magic to three now. Okay. Uh, but there's no like in here, is there? The little magic creatures remind me of Golden Sun, kind of. Hmm. Sprite, do you... Yeah, the Sprite has MP. Uh, alright. I haven't played Golden Sun since it was... I've never played it. I feel like it ain't no good, but... <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe I would feel the same way. I just know it has little magic dudes. It does have little magic dude. Wait, you uh, I think we actually wanted to go west from spring. Okay. Hey, Lol's time. Yeah, this away. What makes an RPG good versus what makes an RPG bad? Well, uh, when it's good... <laughs> you like it? <laughs> yeah, when it's good, you like it. And when it's bad, <laughs> I usually like that too, but differently. I hope that helps. Okay, mm, that was helpful. Sylphid's magic will work. It doesn't say which specific spell, and it actually matters. It just expects you to know. Yeah. Look at this grub. These things are pretty tanky, if I recall. I guess not these. There are later enemies that use the same sprite that are, like, almost impossible. They're, like, not worth fighting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, like, there are some RPGs that I like because I think they're fun to play. There are some RPGs that I like just because I like the story, and, like, these don't necessarily both need to be true at the same time, you know? Okay. It's great when they are both true, but, like, I like Final Fantasy V. The game essentially doesn't have a story, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Uh... For me personally, it's easier to say what I do like about a game rather than what I don't like about a game because often when I'm playing a game and I don't enjoy it, it's just because nothing about it clicks to me. So it's not that there's something I dislike about it, it's just that there's nothing I like about it. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's it's an I know it when I see it thing for me. Uh, mm -hmm. To be honest, like there are some games that I hate because they feel too slow but then I'll really like a game that is objectively slower like your guys just clearly move like even slower on the map you know and so it's like I don't know it bothered me this time but not this other time beats me okay uh this isn't oh my god I don't want to fight crabs They're you not. are crab you're traumatized by these crabs well yeah <laughs> I do try to play this game every year, so I've fought these things too much. They do a lot of damage, and we are, like, kind of under... Uh, I think we might be, like, one tier behind on armor, which is pretty significant. Why do you uh, think human skeletons come out of bugs?
Would you ever have a pet crab? Uh, yeah, sure. I know. Yeah, me too. Me too. And every day I would drop, like, some scraps into the tank and be like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, you mind if I heal the party? Yeah, go ahead. Watch out. It's a crab. Oh, I'm backwards. Yeah. I guess it's this over here. Santa's weapon skill went up. Hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> oh. I yeah, you like this song? I can't hit this enemy. Uh, yeah, this song's pretty good. Yeah, Those these, um... This enemy type is, like, really evasive uh let's just get out of here sometimes Ow. they're not like birds they're like totems made of tomatoes you remember those <laughs> no look at this area yeah oh my gosh sorry no you're fine matongo, matongo. <laughs> we reacted to that the exact same way. <laughs> Matango. Hey. That's that's because we're friends. Oh, you can talk to this. Yeah. These are friendly ones. We say Matango to greet each other. Yeah, we have to start greeting each other with Matango now. Matango. <laughs> hey chat, hey chat. Matango. Gontma. Gontma. That's really hard oh, that's to say. That's uh, the first thing backwards. Well, the syllables backwards. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the goblin. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I don't forgive you. You made too many mistakes and I can't forgive you anymore. <laughs> this is Fun Castle. <laughs> King Truffle. That's cute. Thank you. I came up with it myself. Uh, we need to see if they sell armor here. Yeah, okay, this is probably, like, absurdly better than what we have right now. Do you mind if I just buy everything? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Matango! Hey, thanks for the follow. You know, uh, when I went to see Todd Rundgren, Wolf's Band opened for him. It's a good joke. You have to trust me. Okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you for trusting me. I believe you. Joke sucked, but... <laughs> <laughs> I uh, wish I could react to it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay. Up to 10 from 3. Matongo is... Is this an actual thing? Or are you doing a funny that I'm not getting? Because I don't always get things. Uh, I think I demonstrated that like literally earlier this stream, so... Didn't I? What was it? Oh, it was the why are these words backwards one. Yeah. That was, that was really cute. funny. It's too bad it was wasted on me. No. <laughs> uh, you should equip the new stuff. 
Point of Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, hey, uh, Piro, I learned a new greeting. Let me test it on you. Matango, Piro. Matango. Use that what snow cap there. This one? Yeah. Spiky switch? You need the overalls. There you go. <laughs> I wish we could see the armor on their sprites, because I bet these are I bet this is a really stupid looking outfit. That would be so cool if you could. Yeah. I love seeing the visible progression of the character like that. What's your opinion on when uh sprites are not like horizontally mirrored when a character turns to face the other way? Do you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Um I'm sure that's bothered me before, but I don't think it would universally bother me. It depends on the sprite, I think. Yeah. Good. What about you? I have no opinion on it whatsoever. <laughs> that is something that people sometimes have opinions on. <laughs> hey, thanks for the raid, Slabs. What were you up to? That was such a funny delivery. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. What was going on on the Slabs channel? Slabs. <laughs> uh, Two an foot in foot slabs. I think it is. What does that right. mean? Yeah, we could do the blacksmith, I guess. <laughs> More PS2 demos? That's cool. Yes, I. I feel like that must, in hindsight, explain a lot about the game, like how janky and messed up it is. <laughs> Like, I love the game, it's just, it's got some quirks that make a little more sense when you realize it got, like, relatively far into development as a launch game for a CD add-on that never came out. Did you know, hang on, is this the room? Yeah, look at this, look at this. Whoa! And there's just, I don't know why you can do this. Is this a, what? You can't even talk to him back here. Is this a mistake? I don't think so, no. What the I kind of wonder if there was going to be a secret there originally and they like removed it, but then they left the path in. Uh, hey, Nashter, how are you? It's happens? going well. Maybe if you talk to him from the other side, he's like, you're not supposed to be back here. Yeah, <laughs> but then you can't do that for some reason. So <gasps> maybe that's what it was, is it was supposed to be that way and they couldn't get it to work. <laughs> and it was just giving you the standard like innkeeper dialogue either way so they went ah screw <laughs> it and they put that pillar in there so you can't actually get back there oh i see because because they they were like we're pressed for time we can't yeah. we can't take it out <laughs> that seems plausible but it's probably kind wrong. of <laughs> no I, I could see it happening yeah. yes snowman <laughs> i saw uh, a I white dragon <gasps> but we have to fight the dragons i bet you Maybe. I don't know. I hope Chad is enjoying the stream. It's a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, I love this game. <gasps> I love this game. <gasps> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> unusual. Hey, hardly unusual. A white dragon hasn't been spotted in over 200 years. <laughs> hey, Blitzkraga. <laughs> Matanga. Matango. Mat Hold up. You dig on Secret <laughs> of Mana? <laughs> That's a reference to that movie. To Wish Upon, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. Yeah. That was too scary. Yeah, you, you left in the middle of that, right? Yeah. I told my friends, like, so I told my friends that, oh, like, I'm watching Wish Upon. And he's like, oh, cool. And then later he was like, how did you like it? And I had to be like, oh, I got too scared. And he was like, you got scared of that. <laughs> it's funny because you've seen scarier movies. That, that's kind of the thing that does it for me. <laughs> uh, there's not anything. Scarier to you. Huh? Scarier to you. True. We should stay. Bah. 
Ok. Va. Se va. You can if say I designed... no here and you won't spend the 50 gold. Yeah. If I designed this game, do you know what I would do? What? Okay, I'll tell you. Hold on. <laughs> okay, if you talk to this little thing, um, you would get a dialogue from the from the innkeeper, and he would be like, "Oh, oh, you, you do you like that? That's my little statue of an owl that I got." And he would tell you where he got it. <laughs> would everything else be the exact same? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> My sucky ones. Water thug. I I say we run past the enemies here. Okay. Uh, this way. The sprite was confused. Oh, okay. I seem to remember this being kind of a confusing dungeon. Like, you're just kind of running around hitting switches and then eventually you figure it out. Did you know? I... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Did I know what? Did you know that I read in an exclusive interview that this enemy kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Really? Who was the interview with? <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> my uncle. My, my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, these enemies are so evasive, I don't really think it's worth fighting any of them. Okay. Feel free to overrule me and all that. <laughs> Objection! Do you like Ace Attorney? Yeah. Me too. That series has really good music in it. Yeah. I really like uh, Turnabout Sisters. Mm-hmm, <laughs> me too. That's my favorite song, I think. Everyone wants to know if your uncle works at Nintendo, and you're just yes. you're just not acknowledging it. Meaning, I, I assume the answer is yes. Ignore logic. <laughs> ignore logic. <laughs> you're not acknowledging him. <laughs> you you almost sounded like Coach Z. I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there. I haven't like actually heard the real Coach Z in a while. Is the thing. Well, he's not really. He he is actually a cartoon. I don't know if you knew that. He's um, real. But I haven't really heard real. like another thing you can do when you get confused oh, is just hit select and switch to the sprite. Okay. Look at and how three D this skull is. Isn't that cool, Ribbit Ribbit? Ribbit Ribbit. I like strong sad. Yeah. I'm sad that I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're called Pubblers. Gnome is magic, will work. <laughs> uh, I sure hope this is the cheapest spell, but it won't. Well, so it's how not the cheapest. Does mana regenerate over time? <sighs> it doesn't. <laughs> how does it work? You... You can restore it at uh, inns, and it restores after boss fights. That is very annoying. Although, hang on. It might be okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> can we, um, oh, I should ask you this after the stream, I guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited, though. Oh. Hey, thanks for the uh, follow. I have to send you a Discord message. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Wait. How's it going, Pillar Nexus? Yeah, fairy walnuts, but they're really expensive, so... Okay. 
Okay, let's just do it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, good. Well, is there something down here? A bottomless pit. No, I hate those. <laughs> oh, we found the boss. This is the boss? Yeah. Is it a big mushroom? It is a huge snake. A snake? I've been friends with some snakes before. This is actually an extremely annoying boss fight. Okay, I will not attack the enemy, so the magic does damage. Uh, I might have just interrupted the part that says what it's weak to. Here's Sylphid. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a cool way of doing it. I think, like, it has to be fully on screen when you cast the spell or something. Okay. There's some trick to stun locking this thing. I'm just gonna try it. A mini! Uh oh. Oh, that's weird. Uh oh. This had 1380 uh, HP, I think. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. I feel like it might be worth it to use a few fairy walnuts. Do uh, those remove status ailment or no, MP? No, it uh, recovers and does MP. Okay. One nice perk of being minied is that you don't... Uh, you can be controlling the character, the sprite and still do the uh, magic stunlock because the animation is faster. Oh, I see. Unless the boss just runs away. It did take damage over there, I'm pretty sure. Oh! Pig... Pigmized! This is a lot of damage. I'm out of MP now. Uh, he yeah. has to be close now. He has to be close. Yeah, maybe. Let's uh, cast Identify on it. I assume the medical herb uh, undoes the Identify. 606. 600 I'm, still. Do you mind if we use another fairy walnut? They're kind of expensive, but it feels That's okay. Good. That's okay. Oh, we have to get him on screen? Yeah, I should be fine unless it hits the sprite. Oh shoot, uh... What is that? Doom? It's death. I, the, it's a dead character. Oh, I see. This is legitimately, like, always one of the most annoying boss fights every time I do this game. For I one thing, cool. I never think to level Sylphid up. Leading into oh, this. I see, I see. Well, next year you will. Yeah. That does pig mice. <laughs> How will he deliver presents? <laughs> Okay, it died. Good job. Thank you. Hey, I'm back as sneezed. Oh. 
<laughs> Sara sneezed earlier, and it looked really funny with her tracking. Look at this. <laughs> There's light. The ribbit, white ribbit. dragon. Ribbit, ribbit. From 200 years ago. Dragon. Ribbit, ribbit. This is the legendary white dragon. Its parents must have been must have been beaten by that serpent. I love this song. It won't make it if we leave it here. It's way too big. Let's ask Truffle. Truffle is like what you would name a guinea pig, not a king. Well, he's fungus, though. Isn't uh, Truffle a kind of fungus? Yeah. But... A rare fungus that costs a lot of money because it's very yeah. valuable and everyone loves it. Yeah, and to increase the price of a food, you just yeah. put tons of truffle on it. And it doesn't make it taste any better. <laughs> he doesn't give us the choice. <laughs> <gasps> Your rat is named Truffle? Cute. You were pretty close. The forests of the south. Hmm. The fire palace, okay. So, can he talk? Cute. Uh, you haven't played Pokemon. Forge our weapon. Which Pokemon will you play? Oh, um. What are the good ones? <laughs> I'm, I'm only so, asking Lily. <laughs> Okay. Because that's the kind um, of question where it's like, if you ask it in a room full of people, like you get 400,000 replies and it's like, I, I can't do anything with this. This is way more right. information than I can process. So if you're asking which ones are the good ones, this is going to be a highly contentious answer. Yes. Um. So most people answer like the one they grew up with, I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but it, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Since you like retro games a lot, I think you would really like Gen 2. I started like... Gen 2 one and I didn't enjoy it super a lot. Mm -hmm. What if what, I want to go just... less retro than that? Less retro? Um, my favorite is Sun and Moon for 3DS. Mm -hmm. It's so good. There's a lot of quality of life features, but not enough to be, like, annoying. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend... Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet as your first ones. Mm -hmm. All I know about Sword and Shield is it has the funny far fetched with a sword. I like yes. that guy. He seems I cool. like that guy too. There's cannon travel in the forest of the south. What did he mean? Yeah, I I do watch people do Iron Mon runs of Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and the other one. They seem neat. Hello, mom. <laughs> All, I can tell you this much. I, like, hadn't played Pokemon for a long time. And Diamond and Pearl came out, and I was like, oh, I'll try those. And mm -hmm. I, I, it was Diamond was the one I got, and I was so fucking bored. I got, like, okay. 20 hours in or something. I went, this isn't for me. Yeah. Is there anything over here? You might not like Pokemon. I think that's possible, honestly. <laughs> But I've had this should... thought before, but I want to try it. You should try Sun and Moon. Sun and, and the Moon. Reason, the reason why I suggest Sun and Moon is because the environments, like the level design and the environments are very like atmospheric. It's mm. really cool. I see. Yeah, like the environments in the earlier ones are kind of like samey to me. Slap me 50 GP and I'll send you flying. <laughs> 
ice country. Diamond and Pearl is stupid slow. I see, I see. Hey, Giru, how are you? <laughs> hey, thanks, Hello, for, thanks for the follow. Oh, the desert. We're trapped in the middle seven, of it. I, ha I don't remember how to get to the village from here. If mode 7 is the most impressive visual mode, which is the least impressive? Probably zero, that's why they put it first. <laughs> what do you think it looks like? Uh, it Look at this, probably what is only this? render boxes. <laughs> hey, thank you, Sepisai. You gotta hydrate. You gotta hydrate. Okay. And even Jack o' Lantern. I kind of forget what you do here. I almost want to say you like wander around until you uh, collapse <laughs> or something. Wait, actually? Uh oh. What's that? An ant lion! Yeah, an ant lion. They can dig a hole to ambush uh, ants that are passing by. You tweeted about that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that ant lions turn into like big dragonfly things? I did know that. Yeah, they're cool. It put another way, ant lions kind of peak in grade school, <laughs> and they fall off. <laughs> Maybe it's to the right here. Uh, you know what? We should heal because we took a bazillion points of damage. Good thinking. Oh, 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 oh. Let's try that again. <laughs> Matongo. Matongo. This is our version of when the minions go banana. <laughs> oh, Matongo. My dad loves the minions. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's obsessed with the minions. Every year we throw him a minions birthday party. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh. Can you kill them? If I must. Oh, I can. Oh, I see, I see. Is your dad 10 years old? No. Oi. <laughs> 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 I go for walks in the forest by my house pretty often, and there's a big river, and next to the river there's what I think is a huge fossil, and this game reminded me of it, but maybe it's not a fossil, and maybe it's just a rock. Do you think it'd be cool if the past tense were mine? You cut out, what did you say? Do you think it'd be cool if the past tense were mine was renowned? Renowned? Yeah, so it remind me of it. You know what, I'm gonna Google something. <laughs> I'm using the Puzz Force. Secret of Mana uh, Desert Maze. Reminds me again? <laughs> Reminds me again when you last Strom. Okay, you're you're supposed to travel in a circle, apparently. Okay, a circle. Uh, I can't tell where we are. Okay, I can now. Okay. I think we're supposed to go down... Okay. This way. Then to the right. This way. And then up. Whoa! Okay. Sorry. Okay. You know what? Actually, this is this is strategy wiki being stupid again. Hang on. Uh. 
Okay. Okay. We're so we're supposed to go northwest southeast. The north first. Sorry, I got stuck in a hole. <laughs> I'm doing this to cancel the earth, the earth slide damage. Okay. Uh, I didn't do it in time to cancel, but you still took less damage. All right, north. West. West. South. Ah, okay, we did it. Where am I going? Oh. <laughs> Why is there a pumpkin? It's Pumpkin Bomb. This is one of the enemies from the Game Boy version. Oh, I see. Oh, not this guy. Spider legs gets whacked. It's an ant lion, Woolsey. Maybe he had never seen an ant lion before. It's probably just called something like spider legs in Japanese, and he just translated it faithfully. That's probably true, but I like mine better. I do too. Uh, okay. They think we're Imperial spies. We're not spies. I like you, so I'm going to help you. <laughs> so you take over here. If I recall, you're like solo now. You just okay. have to like go around the ship and find the other party members. Okay. to work. Okay. Who's this? Hmm? Who are you? I don't know. This... Yeah, that's... Sergo. <laughs> he has a cool-ass sprite. He does. I'm Sergo, pirate and scourge of the eight seas. At least I used to be. Hey, the oceans have grown too stormy. I gotta turn my ceiling fan on, hang on. Okay. I gotta get my ladder. Ha! <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Thank you. It's a sand ship. Do I, I think we can talk to the guards again now, maybe. Oh, okay. I was starting to say talk to the guards. <laughs> I have to talk to this guy. No, I talked to him already. I talked to you already. Yeah, there you we go. You want to escape with your friends? Talk to the guards. <laughs> oh, oh wow. he's always oh. helping us. He's helping us. Now go up the stairs. That was a really thrilling sequence. <laughs> Look at the background. So cool. Yeah. What if you talk to the guys? Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a fire or something outside, which is funny because they just said that in the game. But I hear Wait, the, I hear fire engines. Oh, okay. I was worried that your house was on fire or something. Yeah, I know. That would be dangerous. You should not storm in these conditions. Yeah. Yeah. There's Maybe something, someone... like, super not intuitive about this part, by the way. Like, there's a door that really doesn't look like a door. I only know this because oh. I got stuck here last year because of the I'll door. find it. Uh-oh. I've been here before. No, I haven't. Have I? This is a door. Yeah. What 
what the heck? He ate all the ship's foods! Couldn't burp. <laughs> Sounds like you've had multiple collabs today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. Like. Ah, that's the door. Do you see it to your left? Yeah, I do. It's not that obvious, in no. my opinion. How did you have the energy to strum so much? I don't know. Heal. <laughs> <laughs> Heal. I think. I think part of it is like when I'm streaming, I don't, I miss all the like signs of fatigue, you know? Oh, because you're super busy and like dialed in. And excited. And, and excited. Fun, usually having fun. Yeah. Unless you're playing Pokemon or Golden Sun. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> or Sparkster or Mega Man 6. I think those are the only games I don't like. You don't like Mega Man 6? Nope. Why? Because it ain't no good. <laughs> I hope that clears it up. But that's my favorite one dot that I've definitely played. <laughs> the Empire. You idiot! You fools! No! The Empire knows we're here! Hey, Snacko, how are you? I agree, Dawn is very cute. What's it called? Who's this? Yes, Star. <laughs> Didn't think I'd see you here. A game. This is <laughs> Guest Star that we're fighting, but he's on like a robot motorcycle. Okay. Sort of thing. What does he fear? I guess I I can't target him. Why can't I target him? He's right there. Maybe he has to enter the like middle of the arena or something. Oh. 980, huh? Oh, he doesn't have any elemental weaknesses, I guess. I think Gnome is the highest level one. Thank is you, Val. Down, uh, have a good one. Is speed down ever useful? I think it might be useful on this specific boss and like all the pallet swaps of it. I believe there's no other point okay. where it's useful on bosses. He's probably just going to die from this. This guy is a weakling compared to the snake. Yeah, he really is. Ow. Oh, he only took 394 <laughs> damage from all that. Oh, he took more than that. Because the combo broke at some point. Oh, he cast speed up. Look at the clouds. That's so cool looking. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's very nearly dead. It's it's definitely not worth like using resources to okay refill our. Um, oh, I'm MP. low. Three hundred and eighty-eight. That's a lot of healing. Yeah, like, you're... I think the heal, like, cure water is balanced around, like, being useful as an AoE. There we go. Okay. The sprite still gets experience for this. If I recall, it's going to resurrect the dead party members before awarding experience and everything. Sick. 
Snacko, how have you been? By the by. <laughs> <laughs> I must apologize. <laughs> I'll probably play through this and read all the dialogue. Yeah. At some point. Oh, you're not missing too much, to be honest, but I understand. <laughs> it's nice to see more than 30% of the text. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm not a huge story gamer, but mm -hmm. I like the gameplay of this so much yeah, that on, it's on. like... Screwed it up. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this good? Are you trying to make a friend? <laughs> yeah, hang on. There's a third one. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. It's just I saw Yagamoth do this earlier and I was like, that never occurred to me. <laughs> Can you push everybody in this? Uh, almost. I don't think you can push, like, Watts. Like, there are some NPCs you can't push. <laughs> you can't push uh, the middle uh, job keeper either. What if when you got all of them together and you talked to the middle one, he gave you, he was like, I never thought I'd see my friends again. Take these 500 gold. <laughs> well, maybe he will. <laughs> nope. Oh my god, there's another armor tier. We're probably gonna wanna grind. Is that a snack or raccoon? Hmm? What did you say? There's raccoon cap. Oh, there's true, a snack or raccoon. Very observant, Lily. Thank you. Uh, you know what we should do? There's an mm. inn here, right? Yes. So we should level up the sprite's magic on. Whatever enemies are just like right outside of the. This really sucks. Ooh. Let's do this somewhere else because these enemies okay. are like evasive and stuff. Also, it didn't restore our MP, so. Look at these sprites. I don't think we've seen these before. But the kids with the caps? Yeah. Yeah, they were in uh, Pandora. We were like oh, racing okay. through the Pandora castle all three of the times we went there, so that might be why you didn't notice. Oh, this pond's dried up. Yeah. Salamando. The fire seed. How many seeds are there? Uh, there's like eight or something. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I know where we can grind, actually. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> this, 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 this sprite, right? This is the one that oh, you yeah, want to yeah. get a good look at. Yeah. There was another one too. Water, I need water. Okay, that's sad. <laughs> that's kind of harsh in my vibe now. Yeah. Okay, so we can probably grind pretty efficiently here, uh, especially if the cannon drops us off at a village. We definitely want to level the magic up, uh, for one thing. Which Where is kind of going? tedious, but I really paid for it the last time I played this and I didn't do that, so... We went, we went to another continent. Yeah. Crazy. Look at these walrusmen! Yeah. <laughs> these are in, uh, the Game Boy game, I think. They're enemies in that. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't it? Yeah, uh, and look, the river is frozen. Oh, I'm kind of walking on it, <laughs> but like definitely not on purpose. Oh, they forgot to make yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, that's cool.
All right, useful, useful room. <laughs> you gave me an idea. What? What do you think? <laughs> Is it instrument time? <laughs> you think? Hey there, Canary, how are you? Could you hear the instrument? Yes. Okay. All right. I have to turn it up just a little bit so I can hear the the music. Okay. What were you up to, Canary? <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> The, yeah, the music. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Here in Walrus Town. Walrus Town. Yeah. Oh, who's this? this guy? Uh, we got Blacksmith. a whip warp, right? Blacksmith. I've been using the whip, so. Yes. Who's this guy? Mm. Oh, he's the town. Who's, who's this, this guy? Creep? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's good dialogue. Yeah. Uh, do they sell armor here? Okay, yeah, this is the same that they sell in the desert. I Generally, I find that these grinds go pretty quickly because I pretty early on in the game, they start making the enemies give you a ton of experience. Uh, gold. Look at gold. this. Look at this area. Yeah. All oh, the music is icy too. <laughs> oh, that poor dog. <laughs> Pretty good, Canary. Thank you. Oh yeah, you're leveling up. Yeah, it's fine. I need to do another Castlevania Deathless so I don't lose my skill yeah. before October. Cost Levenaya. Cost Levenaya. <laughs> Cost Levenaya. <laughs> okay, I think that was all of the rights MP. No, one more. Candy won't fit. <laughs> it's such a somber song. It would have been good to um, level up the girl's magic too, but I <laughs> somehow got uh, unlocked. That happens a lot in Secret of Mana. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you, are you charging? No, you got hit by speed down, didn't you? Yeah. I was like, how are you charging an attack <laughs> in the village? But I, I figured it out. Oh, we got like a couple hundred gold there, I think. From the hollers? Yeah. Do you think tape bears are cute? Huh? What? Tape bears? The animal. Yeah. Are the guys that eat your dreams? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do that. That's what video games and all of them talk. Me. 
My mom was explaining two prayers to me today. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> she described them as like mini elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you want anything from Wendy's? Yeah, um, a Coke. Okay. A Coke and... Mm, get me... a... delicious... food. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Let's see if it drops a chest. Damn. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna... Level up the girl's magic real quick. Okay. Although a lot of the girl's magic doesn't really need leveling up. Like, Undine is worth leveling because it heals. But, like, I don't think we're going to use Thunder Saber or Balloon, really. Oh. Because Balloon probably doesn't work on bosses. Does this do? I don't think it does, no. I don't really gotcha. know how good Defender and Speed Up are. I'm pretty sure basically all the girl does is heal. Uh, so, we definitely don't need to do this where wolves can see us. Okay. Oh my god, have you seen that clip of, like, uh, like, my friends when I invite them over and ask them if, if I can get them something to drink or whatever? Do you no. know what I'm talking about? No. It's from, like, some TV cooking show. Like, Gordon Ramsay's on it. A bunch of other, like, uh, celebrity chefs are on it. And what I think happens? they're, like, issuing, like, a dessert challenge to uh, the contestants. And so they're just listing off foods. It's really funny. <laughs> a delicious souffle for me. <laughs> it's a really good video. We're I doing this part in uh, the field instead of in the village here because uh, the girl can technically cast magic in villages, but you get less mm -hmm. magic experience for it. That's yes, so weird. A sumptuous, Why? a sumptuous chocolate cake for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. How do I we need to watch this video? Level and then like R. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Undine's maxed. Well, that was pointless then. <laughs> uh, what about... <laughs> The sprite, though. Uh, Noman is playing Grand Blue. Hell yeah. Uh, what all character? Right, so we're pretty close on Noman being, but close on it. Do we get eight summon guys? Yes. How did you beat this in two sessions? Hey, lively. How are you? Thanks. Uh, it. If you know where you're going, it's really not that bad. Uh, okay. And, you know, it. like I said, it was going to be one session, and then I fell way, way behind on grinding, so... Okay. Uh, <laughs> the real answer is uh, I underestimated how much work I had. Thank you very much for the six months, Lively Raccoon. Yeah, this is going well. This is her uh, first time playing it. It is. Oops. That. Ooh. Uh, hang on. So, I never knew about this until, like, literally a few days ago. But if you cast Identify on a treasure chest... Yeah, and it starts Wait, glowing it red. That means the trap that the chest is safe, and there's no trap in there. Oh! And I think the way it works is, like, it checks your... the spell of your, or the level of your analyzed spell. I was trying to say the spell of your analyzed level. <laughs> um, and if it's high enough, it just 
guarantees that there won't be a trap in there. Otherwise, a lot of late game chests have traps 50% of the time. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> which is absurd. That is a lot. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Yawning over there? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> With the most, the most, like, was just yawning voice I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm yawning. Oh, oh we you, have to Shirt. hydrate. Yeah, but you, you're going to get eaten by wolves. Yeah, there mm. you go. <laughs> Oh, can we afford any armor yet? Okay, uh... <laughs> hey there, Pan. What's so funny, Lily? I'm thinking about your musical performance. Oh, yeah, that, that was it. That was one for the ages. Um, Have you ever noticed that when I laugh, you start laughing? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Just for that, I'm taking the armor. That and I'm always <laughs> running into the enemies, so... <laughs> okay, fair. Wow, that was a huge jump. Look at this! <laughs> what the heck? That's like 11 points. Yeah, but I think the headgear was even more. Hang on. From 10 to... No, it is exactly 11 points. Okay. I knew that. Seeing if you knew that. You want to put that, uh, that headgear on? Yeah. Isn't this song good? Big defense. Agility. Okay. That's everything. Uh, shoot, can you send that to a mod so they can post it? <laughs> Goblin, it's a good video. Links are blocked here because there was that fishing thing that was going on. And I don't mean like JRPG fishing. <laughs> What's so funny? Fishing. Yeah, true. That is true. <laughs> I keep <laughs> expecting Lily to add the Sonic Hawk lyrics. This, there's no hogs. <laughs> there are no hogs here. Yeah, someone, someone let, someone let Goblin DM you this. Uh, <laughs> VIPs can do it too, actually. DM you this link so that you can post it in chat. I'm not watching it on stream because it is technically like copyrighted material and. You'll never get copyright struck for that, but what if you did? Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. So why'd you lose your Twitch channel? I posted a five-second clip Gordon for MasterChef. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, people are watching, like, entire series. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like when people do that. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it, I think it creates pressure to take uh, risks with your channel that not everyone can really take. There is already a culture of that, though. Yes. I think. There is, and that's bad. <laughs> I think people, like, people who are streamers are, like, somewhat pressured to do things that are, like, unhealthy or, like, against TOS or, like, a million other things that they really shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And... I wish it would stop sending more dogs at us. Can you AOE cast this? Sorry, we're good. Yes. Not you. I meant can one AOE cast it. Oh. You could do it if you want, though. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, wait. 
What level did... Okay, yeah, level three. All right. So that's max. Bring, bring so we just need to level up uh, Sylphid now. Which is probably level one. What can you cast here? Dang. I think the snowmen are very cute and that's... Yes. That's funny. I, I think the same thing. <laughs> We should battle in Grand Blue Fantasy too. <laughs> like right now? <laughs> no. Someday. It could be today, but it might not be. Twitch themselves kind of encourage it. Do they? Uh, maybe they do. I'm not sure. I'm not informed enough. Yeah, I don't really know. I, let's. <laughs> I love the dogs because they stun lock you and then you can't do anything about it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I used to play a kazoo on stream all the time. Really? Mm hmm. How can they sleep with this ghost just, like, standing there sadly? Because <laughs> it's the ghost of their friend, and they love their friend. I see. <laughs> Sprite? Hello? Sprite, there we you go. good? That was weird. <laughs> From behind these walruses kind of look like tonberries. Huh. Okay. Uh There, that's the that's fish. the video. Click on that while I oh. level up this magic. Okay, this isn't a fishing link, is it? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna watch it. Be right back. <laughs> That's so good, right? It is very good. <laughs> Legend of the River King gameplay videos. Yeah, that that's called getting link. that's called getting lork rolled. Lork rolled. <laughs> we can afford another one of those gold vests now. How much defense is that? Uh it's another twelve or something. Like mm. the numbers on the armor are like super messed up. Uh, and basically, if you ever skip an armor tier, you will be getting almost one shot by like everything. <laughs> it sucks because there's one there's one armor shot that's really easy to miss. It's like you have to backtrack after a certain arbitrary like plot progression trigger. Uh, and if you don't, then it feels like the game just suddenly becomes impossible. You should put it's that uh, gold vest on. It's kind of weird that the items have numbers at all, then. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it might be a relic of when this was, like, a CD game. <laughs> they they <laughs> thought they were going to have, you know, time to polish it at all. Maybe it was just a genre convention, like how a lot of platformers have score that nobody ever pays attention to. True. I want to start paying attention to score. You should play, uh, shmups. I should become a shmupper. Yeah. Do shmuppers call themselves that? I, I've i heard people use the term, but I don't think it's that common, no. What do they call themselves? Shmup players, I think. Players? Yeah, why not? It's what they do. You're not not playing. <laughs> <laughs> but that implies that shmup is just a game. 
Well, that's true. Yeah, shmup people <laughs> are generally extremely serious about it. So. <laughs> do so, do so, what Help the, me. the hell is happening? I don't know. I got scared. Oh, it was casting speed down on you. Okay. I thought that was like a Sonic.exe thing. Yeah. Because you clicked that link. <laughs> what if in Legend of the River King, there was a rare fish, a rare glitch fish, that you could catch, and after you caught it... Is that the end of the... Is that the end of the story? <laughs> no. Then, <laughs> no. Then you... Then, <laughs> Then you would see something really scary and messed up. <laughs> That's a good idea. There's actually, I feel like there's like more than one like retro style horror fishing game. Oh, uh, yeah, Lure. I feel like that's not even the only one. Is Lure the one that like kind of looks like a Game Boy game? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't but know. There's... I saw like Bunzel play it once or something. There's a, there's also Dredge. Yeah, I don't know. The killer fish. Shmup to this. <laughs> oh, there could be shmup pilots. Shmilet. But <laughs> shmilets. Oh. Uh. I, I'm trying so hard, I'm sorry. 21 to my lips. <laughs> That's what you could call your group of friends. Yeah. Who all play shmups. That's hey, so Bravongo, how are you? Hi, Bravongo. Welcome. Wait, Matongo, Bravongo. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Matongo. It's from this game. We're not just like making fun of your name out of nowhere. That's how they greet each other. Yeah. In the kingdom of Matongo. There's a group of mushroom people and they call themselves Matongo. When they say hi yeah. to each other. Don't open that chest yet. Let me cast identify on it. Okay. Hey, thank you, anonymous gifter. <laughs> Is there any game that is everyone hates but you love? Yeah, Final Fantasy 2. For one Final thing. Final Fantasy 2. Yeah. Oh, because people are like, this game is too grindy. Uh, it's there's a Final Fantasy 2 is an extremely quirky game. Uh, it was ahead of its time. In some ways. <laughs> the dungeon design is, like, really mean-spirited. Uh, there are, like, a whole bunch of doors, right? Yeah. And most of them lead you to the middle of, like, a small room with a really high encounter rate that goes nowhere. So there's just a whole... Oh. Like, anytime you see a door, it's like, there's a chance that I need to go there to progress in the game, but maybe it's just a trap. I like that because that adds a sense of danger and adventure. And that's what I'm saying. But a lot of people think that that's stupid, which I can also kind of understand. Can I tell you a similar anecdote? Yes. Okay. I really like it in MMOs. Um, this is like kind of, kind of an uncommon practice with mm -hmm. modern day with modern day theme park MMOs. But theme um, park MMOs. Yeah, um, but, um, I can explain what that is after I'm done with sure. my anecdote, but, um, so I really like, I do, I dislike it when areas are like, okay, this area is from levels 1 to 10, this level oh, is from yeah. area 11 to 20, this is 30 to 40, and after you're over the level, there's no danger at all, but a lot of really old school MMOs do things like, oh, this is a level 1 to 11 area, but there's also a level 110 dragon that is in the middle of it, and it can kill you all the time. So there's still, like, it feels like a real world, yes. and it feels like a real ecosystem, and there's still a sense of danger, and you don't feel like the game stops being relevant after you're, like, playing through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that too. Um... 
riot gas. Moogled. Uh, she's probably going to die now. <laughs> uh oh. Should I leave? Uh, in just a sec. Let me cast this spell uh, on okay. a valid target. We're good. Okay. I really like uh, odds. That's the end of that Mites. story. I thought I had a lot more to say, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I enjoyed hearing it. Okay. <laughs> my my very <laughs> short story. <clears throat> What's a theme park MMO? Okay, oh, yeah. so um. MMOs are so hardcore MMO heads usually divide MMOs into th like theme park like or sandbox like mm -hmm. and it's not like oh this is 100% theme park this is 100% sandbox usually they have like varying degrees of like theme park or sandbox character but theme park basically means like oh it's highly story driven you go basically the game itself guides you along from this part to this part to this part it's very handholdy um and it's very it's very prescribes like what you are going to do in the game I, when you're playing he keeps it keeps walking in front of the door and the sandbox mmo is something more like mabinogi or eve online or black desert where it's like the player economy and like in interplayer politics are like a big part mm -hmm. of the gameplay I see. Yes. Dark rides. <laughs> uh, t -t mind if I run to the restroom real quick? Can you uh, go stay at the end and okay. save? Okay, I will. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, bye. Hello, chat. Hello. You missed when your MMO skills were relevant. They're still relevant. You just have to play an MMO and they will be instantly relevant once more. Hi. You refer to FF11 dungeons as dark rides? Yeah, they kind of do feel like that, right? Like, the various bits of content are like different attractions, like, oh, you have to do this quest, this dungeon, this other thing. Instead of it being kind of like spontaneous and an emergent gameplay. Driven. In EverQuest, you could you could show me how to get anywhere once, and I could always find my way back. That's what I miss about certain MMOs. Because in Final Fantasy XIV, you just teleport everywhere. And it doesn't feel like a world to me. Oh, don't you, uh... It's spray, right? Okay. And you have to... Um... Mm -hmm. Analyzer... Let's go look Can up. I be honest about something? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I When I got my food, mm -hmm. I got a dessert with it, and I haven't eaten that yet. Can I eat your mute? dessert? Can I meet? Your... This is a cannoli. Something like eat your that. cannoli. Can I can I mute my mic and eat that? Yeah, of course. Okay. Eat your cannoli. Okay. I'm going to cast this ability. Wait, I keep using the wrong character. I think.
cannoli break. Everybody needs a cannoli break. From time to time. I've had a cannoli before. But only once. Being able to run low-level characters across very dangerous zones safely, like when I talk to some friends into playing Final Fantasy XI. Yeah. Final Fantasy XI is a great example of it. Can you hit select? Yeah. Did you enjoy the cannoli? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Damn, how did you know I would say that? <laughs> So I guess we maxed out the sprite's magic so we can actually like try to progress in the game. Although we don't have all of the armor. What's our um, gold at? I don't know. Hmm. We need 1650. I did not breathe in between bites. No, I, I just Kirby'd <laughs> it. What flavor was the cannoli? Uh, I didn't know cannoli came with flavors. Strawberry? No, chocolate. Strawberry would be delicious. Probably, yeah. I love strawberry stuff. I like lemon stuff a lot. <gasps> really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The button on my shorts is a lemon. Oh, good point. I, I never noticed that detail. <laughs> it's true. I feel like it's not usually visible, though, on stream. Yeah, it's not. What kind of lemon-flavored stuff is there? Well, there's lemon cake. Um... Like, uh... Like a coffee cake kind of thing. Lemon loaf, I mean. <laughs> Lemon loaf. <laughs> yep. Also a, pretty good a... also a pretty good nickname. That would be a great username. Yeah. Lemon loaf. Uh, and then... I like lemon filled donuts. Mmm! I like raspberry filled donuts. Did I lemon mean a cannelloni? What did I mean? Cannelloni? What did I mean? What's the dessert one? You gotta hit the end. Come with me. Okay. Would you ever have lemonade with your lemon cake? It might be too much. Would but you yeah, I'd give it a whirl. Uh... You never know. Okay, would you drink coffee with, with a lemon cake? Yeah, I do that, actually, sometimes. Because they sell drink... lemon loaf at Starbucks. Would you drink lemonade with a coffee cake? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was this whole line of questioning just you trying to set that up? No, just curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, the, the bracelets, the bracelets. Okay, the bracelets. I hate this guy. <laughs> I've had that Panera lemonade many times. Is it good? Uh, it honestly kind of sucks. So. <laughs> Doesn't it like let you stop time? Uh, uh in a way. What does that mean? <laughs> well, some people died after, or one person died after drinking. Oh. Yeah. Well, people die after doing all kinds of things. People yeah, just die. Yeah, but it was, it was like a cardiac arrest. Uh, oh. Of the kind that the person with this, or that this person had a heart condition. And then immediately after drinking a shit ton of this lemonade, which was not very clearly labeled as like literally more caffeinated than coffee, she oh. died. Oh. Yeah, so... That's sad. It is, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up, guys. I don't like it when people die. I don't, yeah, I'm not a big fan. A lot of people, a lot of people are like, haha, this person died. But I don't like that. Yeah, you should uh, put your 
bracelet on. So no one goes, haha, this person died about the boy. <laughs> this is 10 defense. <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Alright, we can like actually move on in the game now. <laughs> it's fine, Tabeshi. It's okay, we forgive you. Ow. 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 I love it when you play Link to the Past Randomizer and you go <laughs> like that. <laughs> Have you seen the yeah. clip of of Puig and Shoop doing that? Probably. Uh, do they even sell it anymore, Tabeshi? I'm not sure they do. Puig and Shoops? Uh, yeah, no, the the Panera lemonade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when we play Link to the Past Randomizer, can you teach me how I go? <laughs> yeah, you... I... Ribbit, ribbit. Wait. Is that ribbit? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, we should use beer. candy because there's, that's almost certainly candy in and someone took some damage. Me. Who? Oh. Uh. And now open it. They also re removed it from the unlimited refills uh, fountains. Tabashi, I think that was a big part of it. It sounds like a dangerous drink. Yeah. I learned pretty recently that there's like small amounts of alcohol in energy drinks. So sometimes like people will drink energy drinks when they're driving and then they'll get like a false positive on a breathalyzer. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. When I learned about that, I was so surprised. Ow. <laughs> I'm just trying to copy. I'm sorry. <laughs> No! <laughs> look, look, look. Do you recognize this reindeer? Yeah, that's Rudolph. Yeah. He's, you know how you can tell? <laughs> <laughs> but do you know how you can tell, though? Because this is his red nose. Yeah, look at the nose. Duh. Because <laughs> of his nose so bright? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was obvious. I really like the the side profile view of that sprite. It's so yeah. funny. He looks like a dog or like a some kind of interesting animal. I, I'm not doing that on purpose, I promise. Is this canon travel? You're flowing for content. Yeah, we don't want that. No. No. No, we don't do that here. Ow. No, no. <laughs> it's the same the same basic thing as Yoshi and Lickitung. Also. Lazo. <laughs> I, sometimes I do a Yoshi voice when I do ASMR. <laughs> I bet that's a real hit. Do you want to hear some of it? Yes. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Yum. That's good. <laughs> this way. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Can you use the hammer to get through that? Uh, the axe, no. Yeah, the axe. You're just, you're already working on Link to the Past. In <laughs> I was just thinking about that. <laughs> I don't think anyone can do old school SNES Yoshi. It's like an orchestral hit or something. Don't fight those. <laughs> 
They're okay. super evasive. Oh, this guy again. All right, what is what Who does is he? he fear? What? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is funny. I don't think it fears anything. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, freeze on it over and over again. Okay. I would actually be kind of surprised if it survived this. Oh, that did no damage. Uh, maybe. Wow, One. that did nothing. Yeah. Uh, maybe you sulfate then? Yeah. Or maybe you can only do it, like, during certain frames. Oh, 35. I think it's just not that vulnerable to magic. Interesting. That's a really good face. <laughs> I love this boss. Uh, you know what? Do I have, like, an attack up spell or something? I've got defense up, right? Eh, might as well. Oh dear, uh, I have to heal right now. menu so awkward. I found it. I found it. Okay. Good heal. Okay, I think we should only hit it with charge attacks. Okay. Because it seems to dive immediately after it gets hit. 72! Yeah, that's 120! Cool. So cool. Oh, there's three levels of charge. Because of the orbs, I guess. Yeah. Did you know that bosses have 50% evade in place after a relatively early point in the game? <laughs> <laughs> no. I just thought that was interesting. I also think that is interesting. It's also never clear whether you... Uh, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. Nice, got it. Good job. It's never really clear whether you... Like, missed an enemy, like... Your attack hitbox failed to, over, to inter intersect with its sprite, or... Whether you missed it, like it dodged. Do they make that more uh, clear you, in the you next go game? first, because yours does okay. way more damage. They make... What did you say? Do they make that more clear, the distinction between the two in the next game in the series? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't take damage from any of the magic we have. can't yawn. How did you know? I looked over. <laughs> I uh, was trying to do it secretly. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Time to stretch and hydrate. I hydro, but I can stretch. You can hydro, but you can stretch? Ah. Uh, <sighs> ribbit, ribbit. All right, all right. Watch this stuff.
Uh, don't do it yet. Uh, like, go down the stairs. I want to see if I you can, like, talk to the people. Okay. I moved from Gold City. Where is Gold City? Uh, it's somewhere. It's in, it's in the second, own house, second here. house here. <laughs> Would you own a second house here? Sure. Would you own a first house here? No. Yeah, that's not in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am totally okay with them reusing that boss because that's such a good boss sprite. Yeah. You don't make like a pineapple totem pole <laughs> and then go, all right, that's only one. <laughs> I would be okay with them using it a third time, to be frank. I think that might happen. <laughs> uh, what's up here? <laughs> the music is really good. <laughs> Okay, so here's Sorry. what you do. <laughs> if memory serves, you have to talk to this stove here. You talk to it. What does it say? Ow. What is it? Salamando! It's so cute! Yeah, I like it. Hmm. Rad, do okay. you know, can we level the magic up to four now? Or do we need to find the fire seed first? Oh, the place is cold now. Yeah. Just a three, okay. Uh, we should level this up. Is there a Neko by the dungeon? Do you know, Rad? Oh, although it wouldn't matter because he would also have to be an in. Hey, my weapon skill went up. Are you pretty happy for me? <laughs> I'm proud of you, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Don't fight him, don't fight him. Look, Salamando! I meant to, I, I meant to analyze the... <laughs> Don't you analyze the wrong creature! <laughs> hmm. Let's, uh, kill them. Are they weak to this? Yes. Although I don't know if Exploder is going to kill them. Yeah, it did. Whoa! So you can power level with fire here. Can, uh, is it possible to, like, restore MP there, though, Rad, without buying fairy walnuts? Surely you, you know what I'm getting at here. Hey, Sass, thanks for the raid. How are you? <laughs> We're playing Secret of Mana. Together. Together. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, okay, let's go back to the village. As painful as this is to do, uh, it would cost us a ton of gold to level up Salamando even once here. Did I figure out the secret? <laughs> yes. But of I'm not going to tell you. If you had a secret of mana themed party, you could have like a bowl of mana walnuts or whatever they're called. <laughs> Fairy walnuts. Yeah. You could, yeah. Yeah, these are Lily redeems. Yeah, it's a crossover. Yeah. Event of the century. Uh, where do we <laughs> go? Matango. These both really suck. We need to stay in, uh, 
snow country, but I think it's actually faster to cannon to and from Matongo than to walk all the way back to the village. Could be wrong. Matongo. Matongo. This is so weird looking over from the uh, stream to the, or from the emulator to the stream because the pixel aspect is different. Did you notice that? Like if you compare what you're playing to what's on stream, it's like significantly narrower. Oh yeah. You know why that is? No. Uh, CRTs do not have to display perfectly square pixels. So, like most retro systems uh, actually use pixels that are significantly wider than they are like tall. Ah, because it would have been displayed on a CRT and yep. it would have been stretched out. Yeah. So the emulator tries to preserve what it's supposed to look like. Uh, the other way around. The emulator just spits out square pixels even though that's not accurate to like how it looked on the display. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tabeshi, I did that on purpose. You want to be like a tile left of the uh, shopkeeper and it messes it up. Uh, anyway, that that's the extent of that. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, the snow country. Do you ever go to that tiny island? Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what is down here? The inn. Why did I stay at the inn? We just stayed at the inn. Dot. <laughs> Were you just trying to save? Yeah, but why? <laughs> mm, muscle memory? Sure, yeah. If I recall, Zoiteki doesn't really like that, uh, or really doesn't like that term, because muscles don't have memory. <laughs> 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 That's a very funny thing to learn. Yeah. All right. Uh... Here. Oh, is that it? Looks you have to like check because sometimes the weapon that you're upgrading it to is gray, so it looks grayed out, but it's not. Oh, <laughs> they should have thought of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, as tedious as this is, ribbit, ribbit, let's level up this magic. Ribbit, ribbit. Lava wave? Lava magma? My lava magma! <laughs> hey, Jared. I like games. I like games where you can use a shield. Can't do that in this game. They didn't think There's of that. There should be a big shield that you can just two hand. And there's. <laughs> and that's your weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow, too. Uh, I think the sprite's not close enough, but we we'll have to bring the sprite in. Salamander is my favorite so far. 
I like um Undine, the Salamando oh. and, and then ones that you haven't seen. Oh okay, okay. Hey. Big shield that lags the game and ruins your time, yeah. Uh, I don't think the sprite Whoa. leveled up Salamando, right? We were to the left. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> I did that on purpose earlier. If you're like offset horizontally from the innkeeper, then you like get into the bed all wrong and you're just like oh, floating over here. Got it. Fireball still level zero. It's probably just it about to hit level two. It takes a while to level up, doesn't yes. it? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> but the level zero magic is really not strong enough. There we go. It leveled up once. Each level is like a pretty significant increase in uh, strength, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Doing 60 on an AoE cast now. Oh. <laughs> the way it works is like when the spell is level zero, you gain nine magic experience for casting it. Then it goes down to eight when it's level one and so on. Oh. Meaning that to level it up to the final one, you have to cast it a hundred times. No, which that's is so torture. Tedious. Although you do have like 50 MP by then, so it's not as bad, but... Luckily, you don't have to level the magic up that much at all. Um, I just learned the hard way that you really don't want it to be to all be level zero at the end of the game. Okay. That really sucks. <laughs> what is the level cap? Nine. Okay. Uh, or eight or something, I don't know. This might be eight. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 8.99, that's <laughs> Which doesn't do you any good. <laughs> Hopefully this one-shots them now. Imagine grinding this on a snowy day with a cup of hot cocoa. Yeah, see? That's why this game is so good. <laughs> you can imagine that. I'm imagining it. I do kind of remember that, of course, because when we got this game, it was for Christmas. Uh, I do have pleasant memories of playing this part of the game while it was cold outside. Because it was like real life. Yep. Very cool. And now you can go back to that part of your life whenever you want. Yep. Whenever you have a Super Nintendo. <laughs> whenever you have a Super <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Sorry, a Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Salamander's level two. Okay. Should we level it all the way to three? There's, there's an ice boss coming up, so... Let's do it. Probably not that significant. I think we we're fine to just progress in the game. All right, yeah, I'm hearing might, might as, well. as well. Let's do it. <laughs> A GBA for each player, huh? That's like Four Swords Adventures. I freaking love Four Swords Adventures. You do? Yes, like so much. Wow, I didn't know you were cool. I'm just 
<laughs> um, yeah, when I was into uh, fighting games, we uh, we all played it together, like all our, our local, you know, like Free Fighter and Guilty Gear scene. That and sounds so much fun. The like, there was one guy in our scene who was just like the most fun to hang out with, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of like our scene's main character in a way. <laughs> um, the, why did you target that one? Uh, and uh, when he played Four Swords Adventures, he would get the super bombs as soon as he could and just leave them. Like he would walk into a door or through a door and immediately drop a super bomb. You'd be walking around and like go through a door and all of a sudden, boom, right in your face. <laughs> God damn it, John. Would you stop that? He would do, uh, there was this other tech that he would do because he played grapplers. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning he played Potemkin in Guilty Gear. And uh, Guilty Gear, of course, has bursts. So he caught on that when we all were getting really into baiting bursts and like getting good at that, like, wait a second, these guys aren't option selecting against this, they're guessing. So he would start, when you were comboing him, mm -hmm. he would start exaggeratedly tapping buttons, but they weren't the right <laughs> buttons to burst. And then he would sigh and be like, God damn it, where's my burst game? And then he would start mashing command throw. So if you fell for it and you stopped to bait him, he would instantly command throw you and usually like kill you off of it. Giga brain strap. And just laugh at you the whole time. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, I, I started to tell this story like three hours ago and I just forgot. Okay. Because <laughs> we were in the middle I, of something, but. I probably interrupted you. <laughs> I, I think I interrupted me. There was a uh, a guy in our Tekken scene who played the Mishimas, and mm -hmm. he would uh, he had this way of like, how do I put it? He had a pretty good poker face. So every once in a while, he would drop a combo and then go, "Oh God damn it!" And you would try to punish <laughs> the drop, and it wouldn't work. You know, mm -hmm. there would be like an electric waiting for you or something. Uh, and after a while, he was like, you guys know I'm doing that on purpose, right? He's like, I found out that this, like, weird Oki setup works so much better if you go, God damn it, right before finishing it, because it looks so much like you made a mistake. You can't do that in online play. You can. Have you <laughs> have you not seen the Blaze Blue clip? No. Some guy's playing, uh... Ragna against Tager. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gets in on Tager's wake up. And Tager wakes up with the, you know, super command throw. Uh, and he goes, You think I can't hear your stick? And he just jumps it, right? Mm -hmm. Then he does a long ass combo, gets in, and Tager reversal command throws him. And, uh, and goes, I muted my mic! <laughs> it's the funniest thing. That's awesome. Yeah, why are they sleeping so much in those games? Why do they have to wake up so much? <laughs> there we go. All right. Salamando's leveled all the way up. We should hit the end to replenish MP and then we can head to the next dungeon. Okay. I'm so sick of fighting game players talking about mediokies. <laughs> <laughs> Mediokies. <laughs> I know why you think that. It's the song you're thinking of, though, is from Chrono Cross. Oops. Running into the end sign. Confused as to why the screen isn't scrolling. Alright, now we have to avoid everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I hate these wolves so much.
I love this sprite, the wolf sprite. It's very good. But actually fighting these things, it's just so annoying. Their entire hitbox, or their entire, like, sprite turns into an attack box, you know? It doesn't help that the area that they appear in is like this super narrow corridor. Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess it's this way. What is over here? That's the cannon travel. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, the wolfmen from before were the worst. It's this way. Okay. I did this last time too. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Sarzak, how are you? This is the village. Turtle guy. Turtle. 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 Maybe we should finish them off since they took a ton of damage. With magic? Ah, uh, no. No. Okay. We want to save the sprites MP. <laughs> I saw that. We are doing well. Yeah. We've done a lot of grinding this stream. Mm hmm I've had fun this stream, though. Oh my gosh, I'm glad. <laughs> uh, feel like we might have just passed up the save point. It, it almost certainly doesn't matter. Like, we're extremely unlikely to die in the dungeons. Not bother. Is this guy a Mario reference? Could be. I want to see what the level 4 charge shot looks like. <laughs> okay. Oh, she just whips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have cast Identify. Yeah, because it's Riot Gas. No, oh, unlucky. Santa's petrified. I think that wears off on its own. Oh, this song is sick. Is this the fire temple? This is the ice palace or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's uh, this keep I think happening? Maybe we can't go through there. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like this. the half closed eyes. They're very cute. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm frosty. You're frosty, Eggman. <laughs> I don't know about that, Sonic! <laughs> I've got a new invention that will fuck you up! 
<laughs> What's so funny? Oh my god. Uh, we are all frosted. <laughs> are we stunlocked? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Dot is so freaking awesome, I agree. Also, uh, intimidating. Uh, dashing. Intimidating? Yeah, that's me. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I was having a little difficulty popping there. Humble, yes. <laughs> but mostly intimidating. Oh yeah, intimidating, huh? Uh. Why is that it? <laughs> oh, don't fuck with that. Somebody activate mini dot. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be done. I want to say, like, the last time I played this, someone was saying there's a really light chance of these books flipping to a page with a, like, crude, like, naughty drawing That is on not it. true. Yeah. Oh, what? there it was. <laughs> <gasps> it's real. Oh, they're not worth fighting after they cast Lucid Barrier. They get almost impossible to hit. I didn't believe you. I didn't believe me. <laughs> it's true. I seen it. This way, this way, this way. Okay, okay. Uh. This way. The, um. There's some sure trick you. here. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tricky. <laughs> don't fight it, don't fight it. It can move over Okay. You. Sonic, check out this picture I found in my book! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Aw, these things, I remember. It might kind of suck to fight four of them at once, honestly. That uh, three. I was looking at the number four in my defense. Because I was charging up to the fourth level charge shot. Hmm. Oh, it's a fighting lizard now. Oh no. We have to whack this biting lizard. Oh, this is three of the literal same boss that we fought waking up in Dean. I think this might be super easy, actually. Okay. I'm not sure about the implementation of magic in this game. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's like, this is a really, I love this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think on like a basic level, uh, there we go, there's one. Oh, look at the dead sprite, that's cute. Yeah, I don't know if they thought super hard about like what the impl implications were of making magic basically pause in a multiplayer action RPG, for one thing. Uh... To be clear, I don't think it's the worst thing they could have done, but I think they're pretty close to making something that's a lot more playable. Yes. <laughs> like, this game is awesome, and it's almost incredible. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. It's it's more fun with a second player, in my opinion. I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah. Capcom D and D does similar. Capcom D and D. Yeah, that? it's a beat 'em up. What the heck? It's really good. Is it an well, arcade yeah, it's game? Well, it's kind of good. Have I played that? Ah, hmm. uh, Shadow over Mistara. Uh, 
uh, and Tower of Doom or the Capcom. I have, I have played that then. Very cool. What do you think about those as compared to Dragon's Crown? I like that Dragon's mm. Crown game. I like Dragon's Crown also very much. Um, with the possible exception of the character sprites. <laughs> oh, really? I only like the look of like the elf. I like the elf too, um, and the wizard, but the other ones are kind of hard to look at. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like Dragon's Crown is probably inspired at least partially by those D and D games. Uh, yeah, it is. There we go. Do you do the booba eyes? I did do the booba eyes, and then I picked a different character. <laughs> Are we supposed to go north now? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, thanks for the follow. Dude, I, I was on a hot streak there. I crit this thing like five times. <laughs> and then I became a snowman. Which is a cold streak if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing that too, Sephisai. Oh. Yeah, the food art was so good in that yeah. game. I have a uh, bit that I used to do where I would uh, share whatever recipes I'd been uh, making <laughs> that week. It was called What Was She Cooking? And I That's used cute. the uh, the background music from uh, <laughs> the cooking segments in Dragon's Crown for it. Did you stop doing What Was She Cooking? Uh, yeah, I was waiting on a uh, time for your punishment. <laughs> Your. Okay, uh. What the heck? Let's see if we can unlock this guy. It's trickier with Fireball. It's one of the spells where you have to wait for the uh, projectiles to despawn. This dude is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I was waiting on a commission for, like, art for it, and it fell through. That sucks. It's okay. It'll come back someday. And she never cooked again. Pretty much, actually. <laughs> if only this artist knew what happened. <laughs> Is that... <laughs> yep. <laughs> the frost guy, I guess, was Santa Claus. <laughs> When you wanted to name the sprite Santa, I was like, that's funny, but I'm not going to say why. Oh, wow. I turned into Frost Guy because <laughs> kids no longer believed in me. I just screenshot it. Oh, uh, that's good. Okay. Got it. <laughs> and become is huge. This game is awesome. Yeah, I love this game. We saved Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do we have to run all the way back? <laughs> what are the implications of Santa Claus existing in this world? Uh, I was going to say... There, that's why I got presents this year. But then I realized you meant in the world. Uh, forget if there are any orbs in here. Let's just go. I was like, there's like a janky, like, loose button on the back of my... Uh, Controller, you know what it was? A switch. What? <laughs> to like switch it from I don't know, 
Probably how, PlayStation to Xbox or something. How do you have like a hundred controllers and all of them are broken? Well, the okay, the the ones that uh, <laughs> work on my retro consoles are all broken because they're all like thirty years old by now. Okay. Uh, this one isn't like in that bad shape, but it does happen to be by Eight Bit Doe, and Eight Bit mm. Doe make the worst D pads ever held by human hands. I noticed that you stopped saying 8-bit do. Yeah, well, I mean, 8-bit do is correct. And, well, I, I know. These this clouds remind me. Travel. These clouds remind me of Super Mario RPG. Yeah. I love that game. Do you like that game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be real embarrassed if you're like, it sucks. <laughs> Look at the outlines on these rocks. Yeah, <laughs> there's something up there. Blues could do it the do. Wow. <laughs> the collab would have been cancelled, is this true? Good. What is that? The big desert. Pond. There's so there's like a big When we pond. got here, the guy was talking about how the fire seed and salamando had been stolen. This guy here. Oh, yeah. okay, got it. So we need to take this to the fire temple. And I think that's like just off to the side here, but it might be in the desert. So we should probably get the end. So. Okay. Is the fire temple the one in the middle of the big pond? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You sounded so disappointed. Okay. Yeah. I just want to get to the bottom of this mystery. They're, if anything, it's the opposite Helvetica scenario. They are way too inclined to give you phantom diagonals. Uh, this is a, like, very common complaint with them. <coughs> oh, jeez, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, this is the way to Fire Temple. Leave. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Can Cannon Guy. That was Cannon Guy. Yeah. Oh. Do you think uh... Cannon Guy always asks people, is this Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did we get? Boomerang? Is that it? Are we turns on weapons otherwise? We seem to be. Yeah, uh, which 8-bit Doe controller did you switch to? I'm going back to strategy with... Okay. Uh, Fire Palace, okay. Okay, so we go south, and then I think we just keep going. Okay, we go south, then west, then north. South, west, north. Yeah. South. Yeah, west. so some of their controllers are better than others. Uh, Tristan. Uh, and even for the ones that are known to have diagonal issues, it does seem to vary from like controller to controller so you can get a bad one uh which i've got a pro too uh, i find that the d-pad is much more usable than the sn30 which is what i use on my super nintendo uh and that one is unplayable
What is this? The fire palace. The okay. fire palace, we're here. Yeah. Yeah, they're early. What, what are these guys? Kobolds? Yeah, I guess so. They were also in the haunted forest. Yeah, they were called Jobin Hoods there. <laughs> Jobin Hoods. Like Robin Hood with a little, little extra. Oh, it drops. Probably candy. Yeah, I think at this point in the game, it's pretty uncommon for uh, enemies to have like decent drops. Yeah, people do Whoa. still report those issues. Uh, is there a... Uh, hang on. This is so cool. I think we need to cast uh, Fireball on that. Okay. It's definitely a Salamando spell. That's a thought, Fang. Why don't I? Hi, Fang. <laughs> How are you? There we go. We blew the fire out. Look at us. Make a wish. Ha. Hello, welcome. Oh, I've been engulfed. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you know what? She is about to die. kind of an emergency situation. I'm just gonna <laughs> freeze them or something. Tavichi, I was thinking about Metroid too. That's funny. Well, these have tons of HP. One of them took over 300 and it's still alive. medical herb on me now. Yes. I think we just need to go up these stairs. It might not be worth it to fight any of the enemies here. Uh, that works too, actually. Oh. oh, I did that by mistake. Ah. Okay. Well, I got the job done. Yeah. We're, we're probably a touch over-leveled at this point. Uh, so... Analyze. Salamander. Okay. Please tell me it's the cheap salamando spell. It's it's not letting me open up. <laughs> that was so weird. Like this? Yeah. Do uh, okay. fireball. I hope to God it's fireball because the others cost a ton. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Uh, all right. We definitely are, I think, because we uh, we're grinding the magic levels. Mm -hmm. Which, frankly, having been under leveled in this, it sucks. I would much rather be over leveled, given a choice. I love this duck. Yeah. Ooh. Getting tired? Uh, yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. Only a little. 
Not enough that we have to, like, stop right away. No, of course not. The kind of tired where... I get to play this game. <laughs> 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 The kind of tired where you get to play this game? <laughs> is, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that. Okay. That kind of tired. Oh, <laughs> hang on. There's like a puzzle here. Oh, but of course. Uh, let's assume that it's Lava Wave. Why would you just assume this? Because it was Exploder for one and Fireball for the other. Well, that was a fun idea. <laughs> I shouldn't have assumed that. Dot level. Yeah. <laughs> Why her? Oh, there we go. you have to put it out. It's an elevator. Intriguing boss fight. Okay, these oh, things kind Minotaur. of suck. Let's see if it's weak to any. But I want to say these guys are generally like magic resistant. Okay. Uh, I'll charge my spear. Spear's still fit. Okay. Oh, it actually is a Minotaur. Let's see how much he. Did. Okay, that's a lot of freaking damage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just refill the sprite sand. Okay. I agree. Do you know about Ayagi? No. You know What's Ilya Ayagi? Inuka? I had a dream once, a long time ago, that Ilya Yanotka tweeted. I know Ilya. Yeah, tweeted this out. Oh, I remember. Wait, I remember the story. This. <laughs> Thanks for the comments on Instagram. I agree. I, <laughs> I didn't even like know Ilya at this point, so I was basically a stranger, and I was like, "You were in my dream last night. You'll never guess why." Because you tweeted this. <laughs> he was like, "Okay then." Hey, you did a good job. Is that Stalker Ocker? Yep. I love that streamer. <laughs> You're witnessing what happens when Lily gets tired enough that she gets to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Spears and javelins are different, right? Yeah, they're different. Okay. I like how they said stage instead of like altar. <laughs> the fire seed. Now we can level up to magic level four. Yeah, we can level up our magic. <laughs> Javelins are for throwing. Oh, uh, you know what? We have an item for this. Whoa. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> What's so funny? Six months? What on earth? <laughs> Enjoy six months of emotes, Awker. Whoa. Hey, come back. Come back. Stalker, Awker, what do you think about this duck? Ha. I like this enemy. Oh my god. Let's go! Hell yeah! <laughs> Evil. <laughs> Chad Duck. <laughs> the, the username is what's so funny. <laughs> I agree. So that duck is not a Chad. <laughs> no.
Oh, you wanna? Are we doing the party thing? Yeah. Hang on. No, I want him to go to the inn. Oh, you. He's, the he's inn tired. To sleep. All right. He's tired from dancing. <laughs> you're you're gonna regret that when we need to go into that inn later, and you no. block the door, so I'm not letting you do it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh. If only we had a tail. sea hare's tail. I this... forget what you're supposed to do at this point. Like I know vaguely where the story goes from here. I'm about to pass out from this heat. <laughs> but I assume we just like go to the water temple and Lucas says where to go. That's usually what it is. And then we bring the water seed here. Uh no. We need a sea hare's tail. Oh. And then all of the duck enemies get super powered. <laughs> Do you want to call it here? Are you that tired? No. Oh, okay. No. Let's go Unless to the... you're tired. No, I'm not. Let's go to the water okay. temple. Yeah, palace, let's... Palace. I, want, I, I want to go to the water palace. Okay. <laughs> 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 Is this okay? I would love to go to the Water Palace. It's like one of my favorite palaces. Okay, I appreciate it. Is there a... Uh, there is somewhere. Oh, it's the dude, right? These two are friends. <laughs> they are. <laughs> uh, we should friends. probably just keep a full stock of these at all times. Now that How we many? have... Tons of gold. Ten. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? How many seeds? Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's go to the Empire. Okay. That's where the water palace is. <laughs> we have to get the water <laughs> rabbit tail. <laughs> <laughs> you are way off. <laughs> this is the next part of the game, though. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thing. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Check out this music, though. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Time to drink. I have an idea with the hydrate. <clears throat> okay, do you mind if I go upstairs and get uh, a Dr. Pepper? A uh, hot Dr. Pepper? Mm -mm. A cold No, because that would Pepper. take like a few minutes. <laughs> It'll just okay. be a cold one. Is okay. that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, you can like walk around in the empire. I turned my controller off. I'll be right back. It, keep can my my chat entertained. Okay. Can I talk talk to chat about anything I want? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. This is the Empire of Town. Secret of Man is good. Top five nice Osts. I do very much like this game's music. Hello, everybody. I'm up here. Hello, Fingo. Is that Fingo from Poppin' Start? The famous lily hop. <laughs> These days the emperor has such bizarre thoughts. Seeking peace, he prepares for the war. He even has a forest of monsters in the castle. Ooh, is the castle a dungeon? 
glow. One night is 100 gold. That's too expensive. Who's this guy? Who is he? Go away! <laughs> I had a dream about a tree last night. I dreamed I was a tree. And then the winter I went to sleep and I dreamed. Hello. Was... Hello. Did you get your drink? Yeah. Okay. It's important to hydrate as yeah. a live streamer. That's true, yeah. When, uh... When Christmas was coming up, some videos about hot Dr. Pepper started, you know, hitting my YouTube recommendations. So I was like, that sounds great. I'll try that. And I went and I bought an entire 12 pack of it. I made it like three times, all three of which were when I was the first time we were playing Secret of Mana together. And I was really? like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> it's so I've but been very YouTube slowly video. getting through the remaining nine cans. But the YouTube video. Huh? But the YouTube video. Yeah, true. A little carbonation, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Do you want me to try to navigate the Empire? Do you want to turn your controller off? Mm -hmm. You can leave it on if you want. It's just if you want me to drive, I will. I'll watch for a short period of time. A short period look of at, time, okay. Look at his green book. That is a green book. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, extra beds. I should have known. I thought there was only one bed. What do you mean, do uh, do Dr. Pepper? Do Dr. Pepper! <laughs> <laughs> do Dr. Pepper is... Doctor, uh, what do you mean, Dr. Pepper? <laughs> it's a seasonal drink dating back to the 1960s. That's true. You take hot Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and you heat it up. And then it's even hotter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you take hot Dr. Pepper and you pour it in a glass glass. <laughs> a glass glass? Glass made of glass? Yeah. And you take a slice of lemon. But not too thin. Yeah. And As not I too thick. It has to be just right. It really brings up a cherry. It does. <laughs> You've never had it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> the lemon can be whatever temperature. It does have to be a lemon. Could you try a lime? Yeah, I mean, live your own life, right? Like, if you want to try a yes. lime, that's on you. Yeah, I did I did hear that's like a southern thing, which, which would explain why I'd never heard of this. Quilted. Quilted hat. Put on the, the ruby vest. <laughs> 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 Our limes ding yeah, uh whoops. Left unattended, yes. If you can't do the time, don't use a lime. <laughs> 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 Eggman. Eggman. <laughs> Hot Dr. Pepper. I don't know if it's a southern thing, but now yeah, yeah. it was... I, I saw the video all about mm. that, Luna Bay, and I tricked myself into buying an entire 12-pack of a soda I don't like <laughs> so that I could try it. 
I was just so convinced I was gonna like like it a lot that I I was like I better get an entire twelve pack. To be fair, twelve isn't like that much. Nope. That's kind of a small amount. Of it's also not like it goes bad on any like meaningful timeline. You could you could drink it once every year for Christmas. <laughs> I could. And then it would be an investment. We're looking for a woman who, like, lost her husband to the Empire. Yeah, her. She's green. Sure. She's a green woman. Yeah. Wait, are you gonna dispute this? Nope. Okay. We're Germa's friends. We're germaphobes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the deal with this password? Give the guard the secret number, 634. Yeah. The deal with it? <laughs> Is there a significance to this number? Yeah, you said the deal with it, and I pictured the deal with it with sunglasses, <laughs> and it was really funny to me. So, you can, like, write words in Japanese using uh, letters. Oh! Yeah, like in Yakuza, they do it. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 634 that. is Musashi. <gasps> Yeah. Cool. Six, three, four. Cool. Again. Enter. Giratti still has ginger ale from 2020. Oh, look at this. They're swimming in polluted oil. I want to play. Polluted what? Oil. Oil? Yeah. <laughs> I, when I was getting seasick from virtual reality, I bought ginger ale because I heard that ginger helps with the virtual reality illness. <laughs> I, uh, I heard that the more you do VR, like, the better you get at not getting VR sickness. Oh, really? Yeah, so what I did was when I realized, oh, okay, I get motion sickness from this. I uh, went into a VR chat world where you could easily climb up onto the roof, and I just kept climbing up onto the roof and then jumping off and getting really, really sick, and then doing that over and over again. Did you get sick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> then eventually I did kind of lose my ocean sickness, so... So you were, like, intentionally trying to become motion sick to I was like... trying to fill an experience bar, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's something you would do. Yeah, <laughs> it, sounds, <laughs> it sounds like you. You can work your way out of allergies. I heard that too, like with cat allergies, if you want to have a cat. If and you want to have a cat named Peter with a scratchy meow. Yeah. An annoying meow. Scratchy Peter. <laughs> Scratchy Peter. <laughs> that's, that's what we call him. Scratchy feet. <laughs> These things suck so bad to fight. Do you know Pete the Cat? No. Oh, it's a kid's book. Um, it's got a, it's got a cat named Pete. Okay. And, yeah, big fan. I swear I heard, like, allergies change over, like, a pretty long timeline. It's like, on average, every seven years, it's possible that something about your allergies will change. Have you ever heard this before? Yeah. Yeah. I, who knows how true it is, but... Why don't, instead of we fight the enemies that are impossible to <laughs> beat, we leave? Okay. Yeah. I like this place. This is cool. Yeah. I know it is. <laughs> you need to go down those stairs. Okay. Oh, you know what? You're not controlling what? this anyway, are you? Oh, you are. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Do you ever play Diablo 1? Nope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to guess which one is the real answer. Yes, it's yeah, the real fair. answer. Did you like it? Uh, nope. Diablo 1 was almost going to be turn-based, and then a member of the staff was like, 
let's make all the turns happen in sequence, like back to back, in real time. And they liked it so much that they kept it, and it became like a like an action RPG instead of a turn-based game. I don't think there's a boss at the end of this, so I'm just gonna keep casting exploders. So these things get out of our way. They should be dead okay. now. Diablo hey, Santa two is better. Up. What'd you say? Diablo two is better. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. So even if he disliked Diablo one, you may possibly like Diablo two, but not necessarily. What will I think Nothing. of Diablo three? Mm, no. I I personally cannot imagine you liking Diablo three. What about Diablo four? No, even more so. What about I think Boxy you're more Boo? likely. What? What about Boxy Boo? What's a boxy boo? D don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. That fish was on land. Hmm. You think that was painful for him? It would be very painful <laughs> for you. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? Final Fantasy characters. Yeah, these are the Resistance. That looks like clouds. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm, I'm taking a screenshot. <laughs> All right, and general chat. And control V and at Captain Cube. Oh yeah, he's gonna like that one. <laughs> anyway. Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't heard about this guy in a while. Yeah. I like how these three strangers they never met, but the Gemma <laughs> told them about once. Just showed up and went, yeah, we know the evil warlock that's like draining everyone's <laughs> life force. And they're like, oh, huh, that's not suspicious. We'll look into that. <laughs> I remember not understanding this line when I was a kid. Uh, hang on. This right here. She's only 18, but she's brilliant. It's like, what? 18 is a grown-up. That's a stupid <laughs> line. I get it's it now. Cute. <laughs> Hi, but, Cube. But, but 18 is so mature. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Look at the clock. The small clock sprite. I'm looking at it. Pretty okay, good. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Enjoy your emotes, Q. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Sheik's Gastar Fanha and Thanatos. I like Sheik's. Sheik's. Uh, Is this the Resistance House? Yeah. I assume it's like a being run out of the back of an inn or something. Maybe, Maybe this it's is like just one rich person's house or something. Maybe it's like a streamer house. A streamer house? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever think about... Do you ever fantasize about uh, living in a streamer house? Probably not, right? I don't think you're the type. I've thought about it, but yeah, I'm not the type. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, yes, kind of, actually. I like The, the thought of like living in a house with a bunch of my friends does appeal. Mm -hmm. However, living with another human being at all is really annoying sometimes. Like if two <laughs> people need to take a shower at the same time and the right. water heater can't keep up with that. You know what I mean? I do, I do. But that's a DDR song. <laughs> well, are you gonna tell me I'm lying? <laughs> I'm not. Uh. Okay, yeah, it was like a cafe, I guess. And this is where we came from. 
Because yes. I lived in a streamer house, I would clean as much as I could. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be able to keep up with it. That's the thing. Like, you would somehow need to find, like, a whole bunch of streamers who all cleaned obsessively <laughs> all the time. Uh, you could oh probably God, find streamers like that. Why would they do this? We just bought this stuff. Look at all these items. Oh. The tiger suit. The tiger bikini. The tiger cap. Oh, no. <laughs> we should buy the uh, ring and head here, I guess. Golem ring. Who would you invite to your streamer house? All my friends. All of them? Yeah. I'm brave. <laughs> uh, I don't really make messes in the... Why'd I do that? Is it true that you do not want Fingu in your streamer house? Uh, I thought I did, but she insists, so there must be more to the story that I don't know. Fingu Y. It sounds like an <laughs> emote code, Fingu Y. <laughs> Maybe she turns into a werewolf at night. That would be sick. And no, and she knocks, like, stuff over and... <laughs> That's more like a house clean. cat than a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you you want to put on the the head here and the ring that I bought? Uh, you sound pretty tired. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm getting there, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know that. What the? When you begin this adventure, you are manaless. You must emerge from Potos Village to reclaim <laughs> mana stones in order to reach the mana holy land. Make social connections, win games, find eggs, and solve riddles, and increase your experience level until you get powerful as heck. The cage at the <laughs> bottom of your dashboard numerically measures the amount of experience power you have earned. Check your gauge each day to keep track of how much experience power you have. Each Thank day. Thank you, Yoon. What did you say? Each day. Each. What did I say? Every day? No, I just think it's a, a weird statement. Oh, yeah. Do you know what that's from? Is it from a magazine? It is from, uh, like... I think it's the original, like, Steam description for the PC version of Dark Souls. It's Dark Souls related. <laughs> and it's just like completely divorced from anything about the video game. <laughs> well, hey, we're at the end. We could call it here. Yeah, you're probably too tired to keep going. Huh? <laughs> you're like 400 times more tired than I am. <laughs> we Okay, we can call it here, but you have to admit that you're the one who's tired and I could stay up all night. Maybe we should. How close are we to the next palace, though? The next palace? Oh, we're actually not that close. <laughs> what? <laughs> you still aren't sure. <laughs> maybe... Maybe we should... Maybe we should call it. <laughs> I think it sounds like we should call it. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, well, did you did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, did you Did you have fun? I don't. I don't see what that. See what that matters. I don't see yeah, why not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, they'll be able to hear you. Okay. Let's go over the end screen. Okay. Uh. How do we exit the emulator in a way that keeps our save data? I think we just exit the emulator, right? Y you can disconnect and then I have to save, I think. Okay. 
Yeah. Be sure you save. <laughs> okay, I will. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I love this game a lot. We're going to play through the whole thing. Uh, to give you an idea, it's probably accurate to say we're like halfway through. Uh, that means we get two more. Yeah, at minimum. Uh, sorry, I'm looking around. Okay, I have I have an idea, but I gotta I gotta DM you my idea. Okay, uh, I'll DM you my counter offer. Okay, your your counter offer. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, all right. We have a raid target. It's Q Vault. Okay. You know Q Vault. Q Vault's like from Poppin' Stars. Yep, that's the one. Okay. She's playing Evo: The Search for Eden on a real Super Nintendo. How about that? Hey, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, do you want to try to fit this in next week, Lily, even though I'm doing my my subathon? I am open whenever, but I would caution you against scheduling too much while you have a subathon going. It'd I mean, be fun, like, though. okay, then we'll let's have do to, it. Well, we can talk about it off stream, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, Red. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the raid button so we can go to bed. <laughs> okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Good and, night, everybody. And say hi to Cube Vault for us. Yeah.